Oh my oh gosh. My god. Oh my Hello. gosh. We're here. We're live. Oh, oh my god, we're back again. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you, know you know what? I'd, what? I'd be a lot more open to a you know an intro thing dance if it was to the tune of, you know, a boy band from the, you know, the nineties or something. A, a 90s you boy band. Is it yep. original? <laughs> <laughs> and do you know what's even better? Do you know what's even better? What is even better? We are fighting dreamers. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just objectively the best anime opening ever. You you can't argue. Or, I or I don't know about best. No, anime. you can. Like that's that's the rule. I've heard some pretty good things. You can't argue. You're not allowed. That's pretty good, but like, come on, season one Attack on Titan. Oh yeah, that's that's da, kind of. Da, 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 da. They've never Tell been able to yeah, something it's... like more hype. No, than yeah, that. yeah, sure, sure, but the show sucks. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. That is opening a can of worms. We should not open live. Okay, that is. <laughs> Holy to Lord. Aaron. Oh, just <laughs> Josie. There will be some form, some fan of the show will see this stream. And oh my gosh, we're all done. We're all done. I'm just gonna pack up now. Gonna... Oh my god, we've been cancelled. Dutch is flipping the, the table. Oh no. Yeah, no, not, no, not, no, not, no, not no, Dutch. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm not Dutch either. I'm Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, do you know what else? I'm Josie Poser, and I'm the dungeon mistress who run this game. And I'm joined today by Trade Who Plays. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not. By the way, just the record. Yes, I am. <laughs> no, just she's a, not. For, for, for the record, uh, we're gonna do some quick introductions before we get to the recap. Because uh, we wanna, we wanna maximize time today. Because Cuddly's been suffering for a week, and I've been making her suffer even more by asking her very personal questions you that I can then night. use. Like, hey, it sounds like you're. <laughs> <laughs> uh so yes i'm joined today uh playing rudy magic hands mcgee we have crazy plates playing arthur Oblitz the third we have crazy plates playing gerald Wizard, we have crazy plates we better be sponsored by Trady plays as well i'll tell you what <laughs> I tell you, you know what? I we mean, could get Trady Plays to do a D and D ad. I reckon he'd be up for it. I was just it. gonna say, show of hands, everyone who's had an, an ad or a video made by Trady Plays. Technically, been a part of one, but not having a personalized yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. No, but for real, we've got Aussie Devro, who is playing Rudy Magic Hands McGee. We've got the Wettest Orb playing Arthur Orblet the Third, and we've got Roju from Participation Award playing Gerald the Wizard. And Cuddly Raptor playing Anna Malibora. That's some quick introductions. We might get more into it as we get to our break. And uh, I think, unless anyone has anything else, it's recap time. I have something to say. But do you know say. what happens before the recap? Um, usually a whole bunch of banter. And that's all. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. Uh, that I, I do have something to uh, okay, say, though. Okay. Yes, yeah. Aussie Devfro. Yep. All the chats are cuties. <gasps> I can't believe you. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> Can we roll for that? No, no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat you in campaign two. <laughs> 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 and after I revealed Tinker's voice to the world this morning, I can't oh, believe that. I'm gonna mute the guys now. Oh, they've been muted. How 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 nice is the silence now, chat? Oh my gosh, it's so nice. I mean, I know to everyone else's chat, it's just me. Talking. I don't know what this was, now. but I tried. Finger gun. You snap your fingers. No, I don't know what I was doing. I I know what you guys were doing. I don't know what I was doing. Last week. Phalanges. <laughs> Please, can we stop playing now? No. I, I, mean, I, was, I, was about, I, I was about to do the recap, but then no. someone said phalanges. 
I apologize. Good. Nothing. But you know what? It's too late to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> and now that we've come full circle, last time oh, on Dramonia. <laughs> okay, you, yeah, no, 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 I'll do the recap. <laughs> Yeah, let, let, oh, no. Tricks. No, no, no let um, Josie set the mood, because she's here to okay. break our hearts. Yeah, this is true. This and is our true. minds. Yeah, also true. And then our bodies. <laughs> Can we do I all mean, three at once? Please. <laughs> yes, but it costs extra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Last week on Dramonia, the party was slowly recovering from the ordeals of having rushed into the White Wall to try and send a message to the Galugan King and maybe, just maybe, see if they could find any clues to the whereabouts of Thalaj. They knew Jalira was there and the idea was simply that the half-dragon Indirial was going to sprint into these cavernous tunnels, this maze-like structure inside the glacier with Rudy, find the throne room, and heal the king. And Deriel went toe-to-toe -to -toe against Jalira, but suffered heavy injury. But Rudy managed to heal the king enough to send out a distress call. And in the process of trying to leave, Rudy suffered a mortal injury. Pushing through, he came back. He came to at the floor inside the adamantine tower that had been several layers of defenses erected around it by Gerald with the help of Hesty and Arthur. You all recovered as good best you could. Rudy having once again suffered the devastating blow of a disintegration ray was now missing part of his arm. A few minutes later, a figure approached the tower. A Gelugon tiefling, claiming to be an envoy from the king, asked that you all came back to the White Wall for an audience. Arthur received a message from Dionysus that the lodge had been found, but now in the form of Tura, a companion from a time long ago, but they could not leave. They were being held by the Gelugons. Traps were discussed, and the party split between what to do, walk into this trap, wait and see what happens. Who knows? But as the party was finally coming to terms with an idea, the envoy revealed themselves to be Jalir in disguise who stabbed Nana with her massive executioner sword. Nana managed to use her hidden paths to get back inside the tower, but Jalir was all, already going full force, casting spells left, right, and center against all of you, damaging the tower itself. <laughs> Before she threw a fireball, a massive fireball damaging multiple of you all, leaving Nana unconscious. Jalir flew in, and before a slew of massive amounts of damage were sent her way, she managed to snuff out the life of Nana. Arthur lays paralyzed in the snow, unable to move. Rudy follows the es now escaping Jalira with his winged boots, shooting one desperate guiding bolt, but misses. And Deriel is struggling, flying through the air, still injured from the previous battle. Gerald had sought refuge inside the tower after having a magical duel with Jalira, and just manages to see a glimpse of Nana falling. Hesty has been left on guard duty, and Fevenus has been trying his best to simply keep Jalira at bay. You have her on the run. And that's where you're gonna come back in. 
Oh my gosh. Moving to the battle map. To the battle That's map again. I just want to mention oh, no. that um, Moonbeam kind of did a number on her. So. Emotional. Yes. Moon emotional, emotional damage. damage. Emotional damage. <laughs> I'm so Sorry, good. I have misplaced some things. I'm just cleaning up. There you go. There we go. Now the battle map is free for me to use as I please. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Uh, oh no. Enderial. Uncertain of what to do. Being too high to have seen what happened to Nana, but seeing Rudy's reaction is going to go after Jalira. Start the Benny Hill music. <laughs> We're gonna stick with this music for a little bit. Mm. Oh, my game is paused. Did I do something? Nah, that's pause in the background. That's me. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's, that's just me. Um, oh, right. Adiral uses all of their movement uh, to just about catch up with the Jalira. Nice. And is going to unleash a slew of attacks. And I forgot to actually grab my dice. You believe? Considering many of us have done that in the past, I can believe it. <laughs> haven't used these as much. The lucky one. No, now now that you figured out what was wrong with your yeah, computer. Yeah, now that I now that I roll quickly, but I mean, I like these ones though. We spent oh, ages wandering you. around packs looking for those. Yes, we no, really did. They're lucky. They give me the best. Okay, well, for for better or worse, I'm rolling like shit today, and Enderial tries to go in with claws and teeth, but to no avail as Jalira, using wings and blade and magical barriers, managed to stave off a full barrage of attacks. <laughs> we come to Arthur Orbla III, a constitution saving throw at the end of your turn, please. And you can all see in the dice tray below the my <laughs> camera feed that uh, Orb did roll a test roll. Which would have been a success. So we're going to see if he now makes a success. Yeah. And if not, we're going to laugh. 17 or more. Oh, let's go. Please. Come on, buddy. Uh, can do it. Just normally, me. normally, you blow Just on the dice. Yeah. Which I cannot do that. So. <laughs> I'm glad that cut it off. Thank you. Thank you. Just... Yeah. <laughs> no! <Thank> you. <laughs> oh, should I just realize I have you in the wrong spot? Cut that oh. <laughs> I had everything I hope so Still, no one saw anything. Motionless in the snow, face down. You can just make out what's happening all around you. Your sword and bow both in the ground around you. Captain Fevinus rushes in to have a look at Nana, and he falls to his knees, and he cries out. Please, anyone, Nana has fallen. Please, I I cannot do anything. I have, my magic cannot heal. And he just kneels and starts moving Nana's body, putting her head in his lap. As tears falls from his eyes. Jalira. Jalira has had enough. She looks around. At the end of Fevinus' turn, she's going to, uh, Fevin, Captain Fevinus' turn, she's going to use her last legendary action for the round to use Winds of Battle. As she flaps all four of her wings in the direction, no one else is close enough except for Enderial and Rudy, I believe, because you had closed in to, on her. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Wasn't one, like, busted as well? Uh, Yes. Like her three remaining wings. <laughs> well, it's it's still moving. It's just uh, it's it just needs, like, uh, it needs eh, oil change. Eh. It's like it's like Nemo's tiny fin, you know, it's uh, doing yeah, its best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as as the wings just slam the air, there's a sonic boom that echoes through the the entirety of the private sanctum as sounds are blocked from going in or out. I need Rudy and Enderial to both make DC 21 strength saving throws. Strength! Ooh. That's not good. Strength. Strength. <laughs> I know, right? 21. Strength. I have to roll an 18. <laughs> uh, easy. Had an 18 oh my gosh, that was so close. Hey. I was really oh. close. Still oh. a failure. And Deriel manages to hold through with a 22 total. As Enderial just holds on against these powerful winds that suddenly blow up. The snow blows inside the tower. The the sight it becomes obscured the area around everyone. But Rudy, you are pushed. Uh, let me double check. I'm going to make some measurements. Uh -oh. You are pushed back towards the tower. Uh -oh. Well, there you go. As the winds buffet you, your your winged shoes cannot hold on, and you take twelve points of bludgeoning damage, oh and you land prone on the ground in ah. the snow as you just slam into a mound of snow in front of the gate. <laughs> oh, that was a little. No, I kind of deserve that. <laughs> and Daryl does take a little bit of damage, but manages to stay put. Now that we come to Jellyar's actual turn. She's going to have a cast nap. a spell. <laughs> she's going to cast a spell. Oh no! What? She's going to cast because she still has a couple of spell slots to go. We haven't exhausted her spell slots. No, uh, no. We exhausted we the main not. ones though. <laughs> she's going to. You know what we have exhausted though? Her counter spell. Her patience. <laughs> <laughs> so we haven't exhausted. I'm going to need. Let's just see. I'm not rolling. What's she doing? I'm What's dead. she doing? I'm not rolling. I see What's the, she doing? I see the mouse moving. Uh oh. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. You know. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm just gonna <laughs> see, do a little measuring thing. See, here. Jersey can fake oh, yeah. us out so good now. Look at this. Uh, <laughs> Look at this uh, mouse uh, moving. Uh, Nah. <laughs> no, no! <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> she's gonna. No, she's gonna drop oh. a fifth level fireball. I can't even run again you're into out the of it ground. Though, right? Oh no, you're not. Surely the uh, the tower would provide cover, some form of cover. No, because the door's still open. And the spell lit specifically says that oh, the fire spreads around. Spreads. Corners. Wow, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, if the door is closed, it would be probably okay, maybe? Probably. <clears throat> the, there's some damage dealt to the wall, but as the fire, as she unleashes this beam of red that soars past Enderial down into the ground, Rudy, you just managed to get your head up to see <laughs> this. Oh, no. <laughs> and, Was it something uh, I said? You, Arthur, you do automatically fail your deck save, but you are resistant to fire thanks to your dragon armor. Um, lucky. But I'm going to need Rudy, Pesty, and Captain Feminist. No, I will save him again. I don't care. Dexterity saving throws. You, you can't save if you, you're on the ground. <gasps> Give me up, Chief. I'm ready. 18. <laughs> 18 is not enough. No. I knew, it. I knew it was going to be like 19 or something. Yeah, uh, I'm sure it's 19s. Uh, uh, no. Feminist also fails. And um, i got to bring up a different thing to check. I think that maybe... Sorry, I'm just bringing up... I forgot to actually prepare Pesty stats. Uh, there they are. Uh, hope she rolls poorly on the damage. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, Pesty also fails. I'm double checking if he's got evasion. Because he's got a couple of rogue. Oh, yeah. He does not have evasion. He is not high enough rogue level to have evasion. Ah. 
And so I'm just going to roll a 10d6. Oh, only 10. That's not great. Oh, my God. <clears throat> I mean, Arthur's oh okay if it's maxed out. I mean, the average damage is still around 30. Yeah, right? we're yeah. kind of hoping for around I mean, 10 average. and 60 yeah. is what we're looking at. Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, 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 yep, yeah. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so, everyone takes 33 points of fire damage. Arthur, Joke's on you! No, I don't! <laughs> As the <a> fire... <laughs> and Gerald, you feel the heat and you feel the light coming through the hatch leading to the second floor of the tower as the fire Ooh. burns across. Um, Fevinus, just sitting there holding Nana, trying to protect her more than anything, looks singed, badly injured. Uh, let me double check. And as the fire, the light fades away, steam coming up from the snow. Rudy, you look around and you see Pesty lay unconscious yep. by the door. Heck. And Delira <laughs> is then going to use her her movement to run. And Ariel does get an attack of opportunity. Nice. And and suddenly learns the feet sentinel, so she can't get away. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. Why does no one we know have the sentinel feet? <laughs> As Endereal whips the tail around to try and get a hold of Jalira, Jalira, still brandishing her mighty greatsword, deflects the tail away and says, You are nothing. You all are nothing. I will see this world burn. I will see you all die on the fields of battle, not being able to save anyone. And she's going to use her full movement speed to uh, head off. And she is now 90 feet off the map. Arthur mumbles, uh, Yeah, come back at us. We must be right where we Pained Arthur noises. <laughs> Gerald, it is your turn. Okay. Um, now, I should be All able you know to is that... see her through the arrow slits, right? Yes, you would actually. You would. Uh, you would have barely been able to see her head off, and she's hmm. flying away. Okay. And uh, am I right that the tower is stacked on the center square? Just is that right? The center square is the base floor. Yes. Yeah, cool. Okay. So I'd be measuring from uh from that point. Um so then she would be within five hundred feet. Uh, if that's the she, case, right? She is indeed within five hundred feet, yes. Please don't bring her back. <laughs> um but correct me if I am wrong, the the cloak is using the cloak is a is a regular action isn't it it is an action yes and uh and using the final ability of the hat is also a a a full action correct it is okay uh in that case uh with my bonus action Mm -hmm. uh i'm going to chug the potion of haste that I have. Oh, oh. And then with. But you're my... both under the effect of the blessed spell, thanks to the potion of heroism, and mm-hmm. you now haste it as oh well. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to use the first of my two actions to dimension. Well, the haste action does have limits. Remember. It does. Yes. yes. It can't. It can. Uh, I, I believe it can't be. It's like you don't get multiple attacks if you take the attack action. No, and I also don't know. It says specifically what it does, as in uh, yeah. uh, you can only use this action to do X and X. Yeah, yeah. Let me. Uh, I'll double check it for you. Hold on. Yes. Because um, it does say you get a second standard action, but uh, I'll double check the the thing of me. I mean, the Where potion of haste might be different from the haste spell, unless the potion mm. says you are under the effect of the haste spell. 
I think I think it is just the haste spell, essentially. Okay. Where the heck is it? Uh, the haste yeah. spell says that you have a double speed plus two AC advantage on deck saves. You get an additional action on your turn that can be used only to make one weapon attack, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object. Well, it's a good thing that the cape of the Montebank is an object, right? It is true. It would count as using an object. So I will use the I will use that hasted action to mm -hmm. use the cape of the Montebank to dimension door, uh, and okay. I want to be right up against Julia, like uh, on my broom. Um, okay. Right, yeah. Just, just holding like, <laughs> just immediately fall. No, yeah, on the broom, importantly. Um, but I want to be like right next to her, like right up, basically touching her, right? Uh, okay. And yeah. then, and then for my uh, main action, I'm gonna whisper in her ear something that no one wants to hear. I will give you uh, kudos for making that rhyme. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, and and I'm going to uh, I'm going to whisper her the final incantation. Okay, that's a very interesting choice. I'm I'm going to check if I've got any reactions I can use. Um, <laughs> you're, uh, you're out of you're out of legendary saves. <laughs> I know that. Oh, God, yeah. She sure is. I'm and this is not a spell. No. A counter spell will not work. Mm -mm. We... But it is but it is a magical effect, so she does have advantage on the saving throws. Because she has magic resistance. Isn't it the opposite of magic? <laughs> no, it's still magic. <laughs> it is, right, right. It's still magic, but yes. <laughs> I like the I like the goal though. Yeah, thanks. So yeah. We see oh, after the explosion of this fire, hearing Fevidus cry out, seeing Rudy fall to the ground, Gerald flicks his cape around, vanishes, yeah. reappears with broom in hand. Because he's like close. He, so he, knows, close. he knows that something just happened to Nano as well, like two fireballs just went off and Yeah, and you did hear Fevinus cry cry out Fevinus that, crying like, out. And uh, and he's and, and this is this is the this is the hail mary play short of pulling out something potentially even worse. <laughs> yes. So you are now face to face with a being that has cost you more than enough strife, and you see her golden eyes shimmering. You see her pale skin. You can smell the iron of her armor you feel the wind beat and she uh, stops as you whisper and, and gerald says this brings me no pleasure <clears throat> and, and he, he whispers speaks. words that no one hears except for jalira and i'm gonna roll a lot of saving throws. And you keep track of which ones I fail and succeed. Okay. I'll just go down the list. Yeah. Uh, tell me the DC. Uh, I'm assuming it's just my normal yes, spell. Yes, I'll save DC, yes. Yeah, so 19s uh, you're looking for? I'm looking at 19s, okay. For strength, 20. Okay. Dexterity. 26. Oh, man. Yep. Constitution. 26. Mm -hmm. Damn you, Constitution. Very Intelligence. Tough. 21. Oh, that would have been a good one. Oh, my wisdom. God. Wisdom. A natural 19 for 29. <sighs> And charisma. <laughs> Double 18s plus 13. Oh, shit. Okay, so charisma's not where to hit her. Okay, we got... <laughs> okay, so so nothing, nothing got through. Nothing got through. But <sighs> something still happens. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, she'll take a little bit of damage. Um, I mean, you say a little bit, but she's not looking healthy. Like, being this up close to her, you can see the fatigue. You see the Icarus blood flowing from the side of her mouth. You see the broken wing is barely able to keep up. You can see one of her arms are injured, and she's every now and then struggling. She has to hold her swords with two hands. Mm. Um, so even though you, yeah, six d yeah. ten, uh, so it's one d ten per per save, right? Yes. Yeah, and two two d ten if she fails, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So it's six d ten all up. Uh, let's roll it. Oh, that, uh, oh, it's average, I think. Oh, no. 34. Yeah, 34. 34. 34. As no one else is close enough to see, but Gerald, after just whispering this, these words, you see her eyes. Like she knows what you've just done. And you just see darkened veins across her body. You see her skin starts to peel off. Almost like there's nothing underneath. Parts of her body starts breaking away. You can see the broken wing almost just turns to dust before she manages to just in a stream of anger and agony, she breaks through. She manages to stop this effect, whatever you did to her. And she looks you dead in the eye. Says, where did you learn that? I'll teach it to you if you like. <laughs> I believe that's the end of your turn. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, yeah. I still go. I still have movement technically, but where am I going? You want to use it? Yeah, exactly. Where are you going? I'm not going. Where anywhere. are you going? I'm not going anywhere. I ain't going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. Well, Although, I, I suppose I'll say I, I, um, I'll um i circle around to her um, so that I'm the other side of her, you know? Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna... Uh, it won't let me do that, will it? Uh, how do I get out of this crazy tower? You just can't um, go into reds. You you can... well, right yeah, now, you're, like... you're, both, you're both off map, so we're abstracting it a little bit. Oh, okay. Because um, uh, you're, 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 you're both, like, essentially 90 feet off the map currently. Um, yeah, yeah. What is she going to do? Um, what is she going to do? She does not like you. <laughs> <laughs> you know... <laughs> She doesn't really like any of us, to be honest. I, we all got that feeling, I think. Maybe, we were wondering. Maybe, maybe she the still kind of likes me. Arthur. Because, like, Arthur hasn't really done anything personally to her. Maybe she thinks Arthur's like... You are hasted. Yeah. I have I have been quite... The I'm going to use one legendary action to blink strike. As she Ooh. vanishes and reappears underneath you with both of her hands in an awkward, like, she's... She's per perpendicular to the ground and swinging upwards against you with her sword. Uh-oh. Whoa! <laughs> uh -oh. And... Do a barrel roll! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit. 18 to hit. Oh, that will hit, except I'm going to use shield, so it doesn't. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't it's hit because I'm hasted. You're hasted. You're it. hasted. Hell yeah. So she swings the sword up. Oh I will say you realize she was not oh. aiming for you. The broom. Oh, okay. Not a broom! Not the broom! Well, then I barrel roll it out of the way. <laughs> Rudy, it's your it's your go. Yes, just as she swings up, you manage to like kick off, just move yourself a little bit out of the way. Well, Rudy, so it comes, it's go. coming at slow motion at me, and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> just like you drank way too much coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that squirrel. It's one of those scenes in anime where someone's like, did you get slower? And it's like, no, you got faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, but yes, Rudy, you're on the ground prone. Ugh. <laughs> and again, for the second time in a few seconds, Rudy like pulls his head out of the, the snow that's like rapidly melting around him from all the fireballs. And he's like, yes. it's probably just in time to see like 
some like the I don't know if Dimension Door has any sort of effect, but like from he wouldn't be able to see details it's from that distance, right? The way it's a I flick of a cloak. Like, hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he like throws the cape around mm. himself mm. and he kind of just like folds into it. Yeah. It really seen that that cape move and flutter and flow and all sorts of stuff when Gerald moves. Mm. So he would he would recognize that motion. He goes, Oh, what do you know? He's actually doing something not cowardly. Good. That's good. Okay. You know what? That's Gerald's problem now. I'm gonna go solve this one. And he uh he uh he crawls Oh, that's the wrong ability. That's the wrong thing. Um he's gonna make his way into the tower. Um <clears throat> He just crawls. Well, you see you see Pesty on the ground with horrible burns all, all over his body, his clothes start like incinerated. Fevenus looking injured but still just crying, almost like caressing Nana's head, like he was trying to protect her mm. from the fireball. But you can see Fevenous instantly head. that she is not breathing. Right. Okay. All right. Fevenus, can you stabilize Pesty for me? I can. I can take care of Nana. I. I can try. Yes. Sure. Right. Okay, now, and because Rudy dropped the magic at Arthur, so it's probably just lying on top of Arthur at this point. He's got his hands free. Uh, so he fishes out the required diamonds and, um, or diamond dust or whatever. He's got, he's got a bag of diamonds and diamond related paraphernalia in there. Um, just like little banners, like, we love diamonds. 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 <laughs> he, Rudy was thinking in another life, maybe he'd become like a diamond seller or something. Anyway. Um, and yeah, he's sort of like, again, this is the no time for ceremony sort of um, revival he did for Gerald way back against the Linorm. So he just takes the diamond that he reckons is the right sort of amount and he just places it on, what was the wound? It was like a, a stab wound or something like that. It was, it was yeah. pretty... Nana has been stabbed, <laughs> exploded, and uh, yeah. curb stomped. Um, yeah. He puts yes. it into the deepest wound that he can find that Nana has. Um, with Probably no... the one that's going straight through her. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the one that goes all the way he kind of digs it in there <laughs> and then it gets like a little lodged in a rib cage and he goes oh it's gonna go in somehow and he just slams it in with his hands um because that's that's how he does the the quick and dirty revival i love that okay well we're gonna come back to that later <gasps> one damage no, I don't know <laughs> one <why>. healing <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're gonna circle circle back to that in, uh, in a moment. And Deriel, seeing what is happening, everyone moving in different directions, is going to call out, Gerald, do you need my aid? Uh, probably. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, um, <clears throat> and Deriel is going basically to... Basically, his response would be like, uh, probably we just have to stop her no matter what. I got it. And Ariel has to use uh, their dash action, but will essentially like circle around so the two of you are on either sides of Jillira. But uh, Ariel places themselves, sort of blocking the trying to block the escape route. Mm -hmm. mm. Pesty, rolling a death save. No success. Excellent. Good. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. <clears throat> Arthur, roll me a constitution saving throw. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. Come on, Arthur. Let's go. We can do it. We can do it. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> infuriated <laughs> of his own incompetence in this battle Arthur <laughs> is just screaming into the snow <laughs> as Fevenus is going to attempt to stabilize um, double checking Fevenus has no bonus on this still rolled enough and manages to find the worst of the wounds uh, tearing off clothes, doing what he can, he managed to stabilize Pesty. Keep pressure on the wound. Keep pressure on the wound. So, 
Hesty is stabilized, no longer dying. We love to hear it! Okay, I'm sorry. At the end of Captain Fevinus Karin's turn, Jalira is going to use another legendary action. If it's a fireball, I swear to God. <laughs> well, she can't to get us attempt, with it for a way. To attempt... Well, the fireball has a pretty decent range. Mm. <laughs> I swear to God! Stop clipping up! She's, she blink strikes again. Aiming for the broom. She does. Don't let it take out broom. Our broom's, he's been with us for so long. Ah, I rolled a three. Yes. Where would, for the the injuries. For ages, the, in, <laughs> the injuries are definitely affecting her, and the the haste spell is definitely helping you, as you manage to again swerve around. But she's now no longer in range for Enderial. And as we come to Jalira's turn, Jalira is going to use her last ditch effort. Where she is going to make one attack against the broom one last time, and then Dimension Door away. Motherfucker. Alright. Sneaky little. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll this in the dice tray. I need currently a ten on the D twenty to hit. She's got a plus ten to hit, I take it. Yes. Oh shit. Alright. <gasps> oh my gosh. That, that potion of haste. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, she that came swings so the sword much. one last time. And you see, with as soon as the swing misses, she immediately lets go with her left hand and starts forming sigils in the air. You recognize them immediately. Immediately, we're gonna counterspell. What level are you counterspelling? <laughs> I mean, I can only counterspell at fifth, so. Okay. Yeah. So she's going to call out, Enough! and counterspell your counterspell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. And then vanishes. Does she, oh, she still had a reaction. Yeah. Dang. I mean, it her, It was during her turn, so she had to regain her oh, reaction. Okay, okay. So as she go to cast counter spells, you call out this disrupting word of magic. What and level she, did she cast her counter spell at, though? Her last fifth level slot. Oh, is that is that straight? Yes. Then? If it is, if it is no, if it is same level, it counters same or lower. So fifth counters a fifth. Got it. Without yep, a roll. Yep, yep. Shit. Yeah. And she doesn't disappear. You look around and you can see 500 feet to the north. Her form rematerializes. And she uses her movement to start flying away. Gerald, it is your turn. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, heck. Um, I mean, because I can only use that, uh, the cape once a day. So, but wait, I'm hasted. How much movement does that give me potentially? A hundred. Two hundred if you dash. Well, three hundred if you use the extra action to dash as well. Holy moly. <laughs> get too far that we can't heal you. <laughs> But that's still if she's gone 500 already though well she's 590 because she used her movement as well 590 right yeah so if i if i can like it it maximal movement go Get 300 three to 400 then it's still 190 away right a 290 away oh yeah and i don't have any spells that go that far anyway uh, besides Dimension Door, of course, but that's that's that one's done. Um, so I think I'm Bring just to fight another day. I think I'm just boned. Wait, was she already? Oh, oh, she was already outside of the private sanctum. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. I mean, to be fair, you would not have been able to follow her because her Dimension Door wouldn't have been able to go. 
through the private sanctum. I still had I still had movement anyway. You so. still had movement, so and and you were hasted, so it would have been fine. But yeah, yeah. it would have just been if she was just outside. It would have been to the edge and then just zipped right up to her. So yeah. so that's that's no problem. Um, well, she's gone. Doing a bit of quick 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 math in the uh, in the old noggin. Um, I think uh, there's no chance of catching so i'm gonna turn around and um <clears throat> oh, oh actually i'm gonna ask indiriel first is like do you have any way of stopping her now or are we done it's faster than i am and my lightning didn't do anything against her when we were inside the wall all right let's head back and and i'm just like, <laughs> like <Yeah>. a rocket <laughs> You, Indirial <laughs> is almost as fast, even though you are hasted. You're on the speed of 80. So, oh, it's oh, like yeah. barely managing to keep pace with you. Quick dragon. <laughs> Quick <But> dragon. <laughs> we're going to drop out of initiative. <laughs> or we can go to a normal scene. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I mean, seeing Arthur lying in the snow and he's closest, I'll I'll be jetting down to uh, to check if he's okay. Mm. Arthur, Arthur, are you okay? Mm. Oh. I sort of slap him a little bit. Oh, he's he seems alive. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you'll be all right. Uh, I'm going to go check on the others. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As Enderial lands near Arthur and Gerald zooms into the tower <clears throat> Nana yes the last you heard was I'll take one of you with me one of you with me one of you with me darkness numbness like being in a sensory deprivation chamber Nana's floating in an emptiness and then it starts to rock back and forth back and forth as you hear bird song You can smell the vegetable garden outside your house, the wildflowers that grow in the ditch. You hear your neighbor gardening somewhere. You're realizing that the rocking sensation comes because you've fallen asleep in the hammock in your garden. As you open your eyes, you look at a massive field of hills and wildflowers and grain fields, farms. You see Ami tending to the garden, your house, just as you last remembered it. And you, you smell, did you leave the stove on? You can see smoke coming out of the chimney and you can smell food being cooked. Is that fresh whole grain bread rolls? You can smell a root vegetable soup and bacon. Your laughter coming from inside your house. Laughter you recognize. Laughters of young children and teenagers and adults. When a small child walks up to you, it's a small half-elf boy with tanned skin. He's got thick locks of dark hair. 
It's Bruno, just as you remembered him. And he says, Nana, it's time for food. I was told to go get you. The food's done. We all held. Come. Okay. Uh, Nana. Nana looks down at her arms. Are they looking? How are they looking? Look fine. You're no still wearing stuff. your gardening gloves. They're stained with dirt. You can see your bucket of tools is at your feet. You must have fallen asleep while working in the garden. Hmm. Come. Bruno takes your hand and starts tugging at you. Nana. We'll take one more look at her forearms. And then she it looks, looks untanned, if anything. Yeah, just regular. Is the door ajar? It's slightly door? cracked oh. open, yeah. And you can hear voices. People are talking inside. Dozen people or so. She she wants to just push it open ever so slightly and just look. You open the door and immediately everyone looks up at you. And everyone just shouts, Nana, 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 come in. We made food. You see Fia, the blind human you took in. You found her lost, wandering. You see Poppy, the little halfling girl <laughs> who spent almost all of her waking time in your garden. She wasn't necessarily good at it. She tried. You see Stephen, the human boy who came from Bendoria. He didn't really have a knack for any of the magical means, but he loved nature, so you took him in. He didn't have anywhere to go. You see Volgot, a dwarven older teenager, 19, you think, walking with his crutches. He looks like he's currently trying to corral some of the younger kids to take their places around the table. You see Ed. The youngest child you'd ever taken in. Another gnome. Remember you were there when he spoke his first word. He was six. And then you see... You see Christine and Jenny. A mother and child that you helped one after the other. As they needed just someone, somewhere to stay. So you step inside, you see there's one more person who hasn't looked your way. They're currently stirring a pot while all the kids are trying to take their places and they're setting up these big cauldrons, these pots. There's baskets of bread rolls, steamed vegetables. There's cooked vegetables. There's some that have just been buttered. And you can see a pot of potatoes. You see some soup. You see a big roast. As, as you see... The last person says, Oh, sit down, Sprout. Why don't you? We're just about to get started. As your mother turns around. She's got a big cauldron that she's currently unhooking from the tripod, moving closer to the table. You can see the handmade plaques that you made for everyone to assign their seats. There's two empty seats around the table. You can see one of these seats. The plaque says Martin. Um. 
Melivora Buddings, what have I told you about standing in the doorway? <laughs> Sorry, Mother. And Nana ushers um, Bruno in before her, takes off her gardening gloves, lays them on the little table next to the door, and goes takes one more look at her hands just to be sure kind of like looks up at the ceiling and like wipes a tear away and just goes I should have told you before I wouldn't be making it back for dinner this time what do you mean you're right on time <sighs> I've still got a job to do But I will see you soon enough. And she just gently closes the door. And I imagine the spots kind of come back very slowly and she goes, ah, that's more like it. Well then, Ruby better hurry up or I might want to stay for dinner after all. <laughs> As you close the door and turn around, you hear it open just a little bit. Dinner will always be waiting for you. Whenever mom. time's ready. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Now, you can't leave without saying goodbye, after all. And the door opens, and you see all of them stand there. Do I get hugs? Oh. And they all rush towards you, and everyone that hugs you, Bruno, grows into an elderly man. Oh, I knew I'd see you again. Fia gains a few years. Her hair grows long. She says, thank you. Valgot. His crutches no longer. You see a mechanical leg and a long, full beard. I wouldn't have made it without you. You see Poppy, the little halfling girl. She grows into an old woman. She says, I started a little orphanage of my own, thanks to you. Stephen, clad in full armor. I died a hero because you taught me to be brave. See Christine, same as you saw her last when she came to your doorstop and dropped doorstep and dropped off her child, begging for your help. Thank you. And Jenny grows old. She holds out a locket. I've got grandchildren of my own. Being a man is the best. As your mother gives you a hug, hugs you tight. Now, little Sprout, you better go. We've got others who need dinner. And as you turn around, you hear, Well, it's gotta go in somewhere! <laughs> you feel, <laughs> you feel a pressure in your belly. Oh no. As you see, as you're getting pulled towards the gate to your garden, you see two figures coming over a hill in the direction of your house. But don't worry, they'll not join us quite yet. As you see, Martin and Jack. You've all made me a very happy Nana. Goodbye for now. 
Goodbye. 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 And she will open the gate herself. As you open the gate, one more voice joins them. I'll be with you. As a pair of boots walk up next to you. A tall, handsome man says, I still owe you a drink. As your eyes burst open. As you're laying once again inside the adamantine tower. Surrounded by even more loved ones. I believe that's where we're going to take our break. A little bit early. My heart. (laughs) I was scared. I was worried. You were painting a pretty (laughs) nice picture for Nana. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where would Rudy get his next meal? Oh, no. (laughs) Wow! Okay. <laughs> I mean, just a meal ticket. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I had to snooze an ad for that. Hashtag worth it. <laughs> Hashtag worth it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix my snotty nose. Thanks so much, Josie. All right. See you in a couple of minutes, everyone. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you. We'll see you in a little bit. Oh, all right. I, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna <clears throat> chill here. I will run to the little froze room though. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ah, oh, so close. And Arthur doesn't even know she died. Yeah, <laughs> you paralyzed the whole time. Well, you you would have you would have heard uh, Feverness yelling Maybe. out. Maybe. I mean, there was a lot of fire around me. Yeah, that's true. In, I mean, in between the explosions, you probably would have, you probably would have heard him. <laughs> I think it's a possibility because he was yelling out, like he was yelling out for help. So I reckon you would have. But paralysis and all that. How long was it for? What was the duration? Do you know? Uh, for one minute. Oh man. Yeah. So basically, I shot once, hit, ran outside. No, no, I was already outside. Uh, ran up with the sun sword and and then just bonk. dodged. Yeah, now I dodged a couple of hits and then I was like, oh, paralyzed. <laughs> I guess I'll take a rest. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, so, yeah, uh, he, he's been pretty upset with himself, actually. Yeah? Yeah, he's he's going to be upset on how easy it was to disable him. <laughs> hmm. Well, I mean, it's, it's just the, the luck of the roll at the end of the day. Like, uh, Oh, he's he's got some shit to sort out because he's going to be going up to you and saying sorry and then he's going to go up to you again and be like, teach me the counter spell. So, <laughs> but, you know, he is going to be like, but how? <laughs> I don't know how. Just give it to me. <laughs> yeah, give give it to me. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't even fit inside the uh, the iron stone that we've got nope. either. Nope. Because I can only cast it at fifth level. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, wow. The Arthur's gonna be full on like. <laughs> you can't yeah. give me something, man. <laughs> yeah, I need to stop some way. <laughs> Yeah, you, probably, mean... you, you need uh, freedom of movement would uh, make you immune to paralysis, right? Sorry, what was that? Oh. Is that right? Would, would freedom of movement do the job to make him immune to being paralyzed? I can't remember what that freedom does exactly. Freedom of movement. Does it prevent... It, it, it does. Because I'm going to let you know now, Arthur's going to have an obsession. <laughs> I mean, if you gain one more level and you take that level in Ranger, you can learn Freedom of Movement. Yeah, you can get the spell. Mm, but, it is in your spell list. But that's not what I plan to do. <laughs> no. 
I'm because we had uh, we had a talk, and I think Arthur's next level is going to be another rogue and yeah. then ranger. Yeah, if there is another level after that. Well, I mean, I guess it depends now how desperate he is for the how desperado. I mean, he'd be going to all mages, he'd be finding <laughs> some magic item, maybe, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's probably an item that can... There is there is a, the Ring of Free Action. Yeah, is yeah. A, um, and I don't think it's, like, too rare. I'm just looking it up now, actually. Funny how Ring it of Free Action. Free Action. It is... Oh, free? Rare. It is rare. Yeah, and it's uh, it just says while wearing this ring, difficult terrain doesn't cost extra movement, and magic. Oh yeah, it doesn't even. Speed. It doesn't. It you don't even need to cast anything. You're just immune. No, it's just it's a uh, yes. You're immune to paralyzed and restrained, and you cannot have your uh, speed magically reduced. Wow. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. We are during our break town time. Cuddly, how are you feeling? Oh, that was beautiful. I had goosebumps. I hate That's you right. guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be. I am gonna be having words to Sirenscape. Can they stop making such beautiful music? I mean, the music made it. I'm just gonna be like, why? Why would you? Why would you add the ammunition behind Josie? She's already coming for the emotional. No, I loved it. Oh, that was perfect. That was like exactly what uh, what Nana would have wanted. Yeah, because I I told Cuddly out of game. I was like, oh no no oh no, it's not gonna be a sad death. I'm going to I'm going to try to entice you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it I'm going to make the best scene in Anna can imagine to make it mm. hard to leave. Yeah, That's actually yeah. why she kept checking her arms because she was checking because at first she was like this feels right and then she didn't see any bleaching spots and then she's like uh. it's not right <laughs> yet. Yeah. Mm. I did, um... What do you mean rude? I wasn't rude. I made it pretty <laughs> and nice. I even made a whole list of of kids. True. That was my favorite part when they. Yeah, that was up. pretty cool. When they all grow up and they like tell you their story, I'm like, oh yeah. no. Because <laughs> <Nana> would <laughs> have, so much Nana, Nana, have on my Nana face. would have outlived most of them. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. That now actually, which is. Also, our uh, also, our plague boy him. as well. No, uh, Martin with an E. Is no, Nana's no, dad. not our. Yeah, no, he's he's oh, not invited to my table. Different Martin. <laughs> my dad. Yeah, Mar was, Martin. I like, Martin. I was yeah. like, is this is this reveal that that he used to be one of Nana's kids? Oh my god. I had Wouldn't been be considering, but no. Yeah. Yeah. I would, yeah, I would have with it. I would have yeah. me up, sure. For sure. No, that was just like, a, that That naming thing was just a funny thing because I already had the name of them. Yeah, and then you when Cotley sent her backstory. And you are like, mm -hmm. they, like mm -hmm. <laughs> but then again, you know, people can have similar names. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you that Nana, Nana's whole family is like named for like the Muscalids and the Weasel family. So Martin is, you know, like a little, little slinky Martin along the river. Um, Tyrell is the mother, which is like the scientific name of, oh, I forgot. But Melivora is a honey badger. Melivora is, yeah. <laughs> is <laughs> because it's honey badger don't give a fuck. Oh my God. I didn't even know. You didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that that was the Melivora secret sauce. Uh, it all makes sense now. See? Oh my god. Honey badger don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, how are we feeling? We want to get back in? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Sorry for taking someone, guys. Right back in. I, I'm like, I, I don't know if you if you saw what I what I messaged Josie, but like, I realized I realized. I did. Who, have done something more but ah you snooze you lose you could what? but that would also have cost you an extra action yeah 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 but like so it, it... but also it still it sort of allowed me another dimension door but um <clears throat> yeah that's all right i think yeah. ultimately it would have been a long shot anyway but but yeah and if right. you had been downed you would have been very far away by that point 
Oh, yeah. True. Mm, yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. I was worried about. I was like, you go too far. <laughs> Sweetie, stay in range. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Whew. Lord. So we're going to come back in. We're going to do another quick little hi, everyone who's anyone who's joined us. I'm Joseph Ozer, the Dungeon Mistress. And I am joined by the regular cast. We've got Aussie Dev Pro playing Rudy Magic Cat McGee. We've got Wet as Dorman playing Arthur Orbles the Third. We've got Rogu from Participation Award playing Gerald the Wizard. And we've got Cuddly Raptor playing Anna Mother Bora. Still playing. You're welcome. <laughs> Still playing. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Just. You painted yeah. such a cozy oh, yeah. picture. Can we also take a moment to I'm appreciate so the fact now that everyone has actually died, except the one person who keeps saying he's immortal. Right? I oh, mean, I'm he's the person we don't I want mean, to we all know that in alternate universe, he's... He dead. <laughs> yeah. he Many times dead. over. But this universe is the one that matters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's some deviating timelines there for a moment, yep. but... <laughs> but the thing is, if he dies, we can't bring him back. Uh, Nana can. I can bring him back. Nana can. can. Oh. With a bit of luck. There's a little bit of luck involved, right? Oh, if he wants to. You'll come back, but you might not like it. <laughs> you'll uh, come honestly, back. No, I'll come back as a baby bear cub. Like <laughs> 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 I'd actually love that. I would spend the rest of the campaign just going... <laughs> <laughs> Something fucking Rudy. <laughs> yes. Rudy Magic Paws McGee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're going to come back in as Nana. You wake up. You have one hit point. Oh, thank oh. Agatha. That worked. Oh. And that is pretty much the exact moment that Gerald would like swoop in the door. Yeah, kind of like half landing on the broom, half like just <laughs> running, landing. <laughs> Is everyone all right? Yes, yes. An albatross landing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Slightly skidding in the snow a little bit. <laughs> no, everyone's alive. Everyone's alive. <laughs> Arthur's still paralyzed, but everyone's alive. I already checked on Arthur. He's fine. Good. Yeah, and, and Ariel comes walking with like our Arthur. And Arthur's like body is full, almost rigor mortis, and Daryl is like just trying to carry Arthur as he's stuck in the post that he fell in. Rudy plucks the magic off Arthur's back, just just like a like a log over the shoulder. <laughs> yeah, it just sets him down, and it uh, doesn't take long before Arthur you start feeling like you can move again. <laughs> like the legs being able to move, but the mouse just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see that that Pesty's down as well. Pesty, is he all right? I I I I think he is okay for now, but I'm no medic. Uh, I'll Gerald will sort of cast spare the dying just in case. Um, yeah, d it doesn't doesn't hit. Pesty is uh, stabilized, and you can tell that your magic right. is like not really doing anything more. All right, right. He he'll be okay, I think. Um, yeah yes, all right uh, did, did you get her she got she got away sadly i tried but she was too quick yes almost next time i suppose i mean if well, anything maybe she'll give up and everything will be fine she's not giving up gerald don't even say I that no <sighs> but we lived, which is actually more than what I thought we would. Well, I would say that we came back from the brink, more or less. Oh, but at least that problem, for the time being, is dealt with. We still have something quite dramatic to deal with. Arthur, can you speak yet? I know you're talking like this. All right, that'll have to do. Arthur, uh, you... I need to get, get my sword. It's okay. We'll get them in the moment, but you need to contact Dionysus. Okay. Yes. Please tell Dionysus to get out of there. He goes right on the base. 
And... Okay, make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, wisdom saving. Uh, boop. Thirteen. You can get a partial message through. Where are you? You're using your mind to talk. You can talk properly, yeah, damn it. Like, Arthur's actually saying this because he. <sighs> <clears throat> And you get back, I'm still there. By the wall. Arthur, we know where he is. <laughs> Tell him to get out of there. Arthur will try to sphinx again, get him in the face. Um, Nana is gonna do Beacon of Hope. Oh, that's good, actually. And give you all a little tasty mass cure wounds at 8th level. Um, num, 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 num. Oh, shit. shit. Yeah, Damn. so you can all have, what, 6, 8, 48, 53. You, you can all just take 53. You can all just oh, take shit. 53 points of healing. How about Jesus, you do that that's now? That's a lot. You can oh, all is Nana gonna take? Is Nana gonna take anything herself? Because yes. I think you can only you can only wait, pick wait, wait. six targets. Well, okay, that's okay. Uh... Is this the right moment to say that Gerald is still got full health and temp hit points? <laughs> the... Well, no. Let that's, me that's at exactly. him. Like, probably, like, <laughs> be like, okay, me and Zerio, Pesty, Savinus, Rudy, Arthur, and then she would probably see that Gerald's like doing pretty well and be like, okay, that's fine because there's seven of us, right? Did I miss someone? No, that's it. No, that's it. Okay, yeah. Sorry, everyone yeah. but Gerald. So, so, so yeah, Pesty gets all of his hit points back. Excellent. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not a, not a high-level yeah, combatant. <laughs> not a high-level combatant. He gets all mm. of his hit points back. He does still have a very nasty burn, though. Mm. Mm. But it looks like it's it's no longer like an active burn. It starts to look more like several like weeks or months have passed, but he's got a burn scar over his left shoulder and neck and a bit of his face. Hmm. Does it look cool though? Yeah. Is it like a it looks pretty ass? gnarly, yeah. He he looks yeah. like he's been through the ringer, you know? Yeah. Nice. He looks like he actually survived two fireballs. There you go. Well, <laughs> no, fair, fair. <laughs> Uh, Arthur, you get no message through on that one, uh, but you do get a response that says, Arthur, stop trying so hard. <laughs> Arthur sort of relaxes himself this time and just goes... Yeah, you no longer need to make a roll. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's uh, talk for you failed too many times. Let's keep Amazing. going. <laughs> no, that's that's just literally. I thought it was so much fun that he was like really trying so hard that that was what was making it hard. <laughs> the, the harder he struggled, the worse it was. Yeah. Overthinking. What's that? Whoa. Just Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wait. Um, Arthur sort of just goes, "You need to come back. We were attacked." Well, we seem to have a conundrum then. I I can come back, but they will not let Tura leave. Oliver, uh, 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 why? It's a long story. Do we need to come to you? Then if you want to know what's happening, then yes. We're not kept prisoners. I've just been told I cannot leave with Tura, and the king wants to see you. All right. Um, Arthur sort of comes back to the group, and um, he goes, um... So, you know that message we got tricked by, right? Uh, yes. Uh, no, I don't remember being tricked by a message, Arthur. Uh, okay, <laughs> everyone but Gerald. Um, apparently, our friends, they're still not allowed to leave. They're still very alive. Um, and the king does actually want to meet us. I don't think we actually know whether the 
the king wanting to meet us is actually still a legitimate thing, or more likely that that was just Jalira getting them to stay there, saying, you know, to, so that they can't leave, and she well, could Well, at the moment, us and... they cannot leave. There's been very direct way forward. They are not allowed to leave until we get there, essentially. All right. They're okay, though. They said they're not in any danger. And they're All not right. being prisoner, like in jail or anything. It was just they're not allowed to leave until we arrive. All right. Well, I guess at least at least Janir is not a problem for now. What uh, direction did she fly off in, Gerald? Oh, uh, that way. She blew off. Damn. We gave her we gave her a good run for her money, though, Ooh, Nana. No, I, you you guys gave her a good run for your money. You did very well in distracting her in a few key moments, Arthur. Don't discount that. Every round she spent, every, sorry, every moment she spent fighting you, she wasn't attacking one of us. That's still, that's still very useful. She only attacked me once. She attacked you twice. I mean. Your memory's a bit fuzzy from being paralyzed for so long. I count that as once. Anyways, can you, I'm still worried about something. Can you... Ask Dionysus, Nana, it, hold on, Nana, did Dionysus like, was it nuts in his brownies, or what was what was that discussion that you had in the Hang time on, bubble? What? Hold on, um, Arthur, can you remember he, he Nana? Didn't, he didn't, he didn't. He didn't, yeah. Oh, he didn't, no, Arthur, against it. can you ask Dionysus to tell us whether he likes nuts in his brownies, and that it's very important that he answers Truthfully. Why am I going to be asking Just about do, I'm Just worried. Do, do you suspect he's a fake? I... <sighs> Just How because... Would be communicating with him? Just, just um, to settle something in Rudy's mind, uh, Josie, the golden eyes and aura that Jalira had, was that presence yes. in the throne room? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, I fear... I just for the to put your mind at ease as well, Gerald, whether this truly is still a trap of sorts that has been laid for us. I fear that Jalira, if she somehow encountered Dionysus and was able to, I don't know, somehow obtain his essence, could it be possible that she could be hood you know, tricking Arthur with this sending signal ask him spell. what he thinks about carrot cake as well no, the, the brownies and the nuts thing that happened in the time bubble jalira wouldn't know that if we get a false answer then we know it's a trick if we get the truth i mean that is a 50 50 but uh, is... i can't think of any other moment in time or, try, or information I that suppose. we have um arthur's gonna fully ignore that uh, for the time being and he's going to try and sense for like dragons um, with his arch tree speak where is it are you talking about primeval awareness yes okay yes so I uh, do know that it's limited to one mile yes Arthur's going to try that first is the city within one mile? No. No, it's not. Ah. You sense within a mile the presence of undead dragon and fee. So Arthur goes, I haven't asked yet, but I know fiends around. I know there's undead around. Points to Rudy. Uh, and a, a dragon somewhere. Points to Feminus. Points to yeah, and Ethereal. 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 <laughs> and they're like... Arthur, can you just ask the message? Ask Dionysus, please. Arthur goes, Dionysus. <laughs> um, <laughs> mate, what do you... And he sort of like forgot the line, so he's like looking over. Rudy sees this yeah. and goes... It's very important that you answer truthfully, truthfully so we know it's not a trap. Do you like nuts in your brownies? 
do you like nuts in your brownies? Answer truthfully. I don't know if this is the time, but it really depends. If we're talking about roasted almonds shaved on top, then no, or for texture. <laughs> However, if we're taking this further and we're talking about something like a hazelnut cream, like a nougat <laughs> inside the brown. Oh, it's Dionysus. Dionysus, yeah. <laughs> 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 Arthur's making this whole like oh. right. Arthur's receiving a lecture about brownies and nuts. I believe it's Dionysus. I think it is relatively safe to go into the city. That's my opinion. But I have been terribly wrong in this past twelve hours about a lot of things. So I just thought I would put that out there. I've been wrong before, but I'm going to be wrong again. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, you all hear. If that's another fireball, I swear to God. If it's another disintegration ray, I swear to Ogathoa. Neither of those make that you noise. All, <laughs> you all hear in your minds. I am an envoy of the king of Gerugons. Oh, oh, we've heard that one before. Uh, Dionysus, <laughs> we are here <laughs> to escort you to the city by the wall. See, doesn't this one make a lot more sense? Uh, yes, yes. Yes. But it, you you were all bickering and I just And you were upstairs as well, Gerald. It was hard to convey everything properly. All right. Well, yes, uh, I'm No tea this time, just in let's, case. Let's Arthur, get this over with first Arthur when we can turns around to Nana. He's still talking about nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him we're coming. Ask him about carrot cake. No, no. Cur currently you hear. No, I know peanuts are technically legumes. <laughs> peanut butter. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. When we, no, just tell him it's okay. He's proved that he's the real Dionysus. Uh, tell him we're on our way. Arthur tries to get a word in, but he's like. Uh, <laughs> 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 like, oh, we're on our way. Stepping outside the tower, you see, by the edge where the private sanctum ends, you see uh, a handful of Gelugons. These insect-like, almost like, like grasshoppers. But <laughs> I just realized we wouldn't have heard the horn. <laughs> no. No, but you sound. see, they, they have they have like just stepped in. Oh, oh, okay, okay. But they have stopped there. Like, like you can tell that they are aware of this barrier, and they have just stepped inside. But they are awaiting by the border. Right. Okay. On outside. You it, can see. It. You can see like one of them holds like a banner up top. One has this horn. and they're all wearing like armor made out of hide and pieces of ice. And you see some of them have, like, six legs and large insect-like lower bodies, whereas some of them look more humanoid but have multiple arms. Uh, and they all have this almost insect-like appearance. They all have compound eyes and mandibles. And Nana just kind of brushes herself off, kind of fixes the armor that's been stabbed and sort of strides outside saying, Oh good, I've been dying to meet you. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to turn to um, um, to our various NPCs, and uh, I'm like, "Do you uh, want to come with us, or are you going to stay here in the tower?" They. Bevanus speaks up and says, "At this point, I think it is probably safer to go with you all." You never know if she comes back. I, I take my chances with the Gelugons. All right, then. Well, everyone out. I'm assuming you're packing up the tower? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so it just shrinks down to like a chess piece in size. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. 
and uh for for half a second no never mind um you put ping it put it in your pouch uh you head off and um uh, you all hear in your minds again please follow us we will escort you and they all make like a little bit of a formation like a like a v in front and they're just walking and you can tell that they're actually trampling the snow as well as they're walking making a path for you all and then it appreciates this <laughs> while we're... Gerald flies <laughs> Gerald flies while we're walking Rudy would sort of just say out loud I think I can maybe see the sequence of events here I don't know whether Jalira what she did after immediately after we left but it seems to be that she might have disguised herself as a Gulligan and maybe oh you think she might have disguised herself it... <laughs> oh you don't say <laughs> yes I know Rudy I'm <sighs> livid she drank my tea that's a waste but she liked it so really we got the moral victory here <laughs> fine I understand I we all put it together we did what we thought was best in the time, and hey, we still came out all right. You can all tell that they are listening to this conversation, the Gelligons. None of them are responding, but it is very obvious that they're paying attention. Mm. Yes, we fought her off real good. The fact that she had to run as hard as she did, especially with Gerald chasing. What did you do, Gerald, to make her flee so quickly? Oh, I just told her she's something she really didn't like. She does not like being taunted. This is true. Well, it was a taunt, all right. <laughs> it's a, it's a definitely a, a heck of a taunt. Um, but, oh my God, her saves. Anyway. Um, yes, uh, sadly, she had just enough to uh, uh, to escape still. Speaking of, do you all want do you all want to know how many hit points? You yeah, have? I really do. Are we allowed? I really want to know. I kind of don't, but yeah, go on. She was she was super. You're low, gonna say right? single digits, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be so upset. It was not single digits. Oh, okay, all right. I feel a bit better now. That's yeah, right. I mean, it was close. I mean, it was a twelve hit point. Oh, oh my God, really? you get twelve hit points. Yeah, I was also at twelve. That's because I'm good. On. Oh, shit. Hang on, are you saying if Arthur wasn't paralyzed? If, yeah, if you broke paralysis at any point and done damage at any point, and I reckon we might have yeah, got because yeah. Yeah. I do damage no matter what with my bow. Like she can't mm. dodge that shit. Mm. Pretty much a thirty every time, man. Eh? We, I mean, e even ran. even in your like Ooh. your long range increments, yeah, like, it's like five hundred mm. feet mm. by its yeah. like, like that. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty exciting. We don't even have the full I mean, party. Uh, yeah. That is pretty exciting, yet Arthur did nothing. Just think of it this way, Arthur. Oh, Next time we battle her, when, you know, you're not paralyzed, hopefully, we'll get her. So, she doesn't know much about what I can do then? No, she probably knows a lot Obviously. of what you can do. Remember, she's watching us at all times. Probably not like any recent tricks you might have picked up, but... Is she watching right now? Because I have a couple words for her. Probably not. She's probably flying. I live, bitch. <laughs> oh, it, it it wasn't. Uh, it, it's not her doing the actual scrying. It, well, it's going to be one of her. It's going to be one of her lackeys, and oh, they won't understand. No, probably not. Ooh, Gerald, do you think tonight we should send her a little Nana-themed nightmare, oh, so I Nana can say that she lived? I would love to. In fact, I think that's an excellent idea. I, I had to have one good idea today, right? <laughs> Jared right. is practicing. If you can't say anything nice, so <laughs> a couple of minutes. You walk. You talk. You realize it is a lot faster once you don't have to trudge through waist high snow to get anywhere even though it is actively snowing still the wall eventually comes within view and so does the city 
this city that is built along the length of the wall comes into view. You see chimneys with smoke, columns coming out of them. You see those hot spots where they seem to have made farms. And almost like the hail doesn't reach all the way to the wall. But you see a familiar sight as you see the full might of Dionysus just laying. You see what looks like maybe a couple of Gelugon children climbing on him. He's just <laughs> laying in the snow. <laughs> and he does lift his head as you ap uh, approach and some of the kids like scream and start jumping <laughs> off him, going like sliding down his side. <laughs> And Rudy, you see the figure you recognize. You see the king. Oh. He is missing an arm and his tail. But you see a, several attendants are currently treating him, both with magical and mundane means. They are very slowly trying to heal him. And he's sitting on a normal bench that seems to have been moved, like made out of stone and wood. And you see sitting next to him, somewhat impatient, you do see Tura. And this is the point where all of you also see Tura, with the white and green hair, the very lithe armor, and the, the scales that are white and green covering the arms and the shoulders. Tura looks a bit bigger, if anything, and facial features are a bit more exaggerated. And you can see, like, almost like the fingernails have turned into claws, very much uh, akin to Imperial being definitely part dragon. Mm -hmm. As they all stand up, the, the king remains seated as you all approach. Oh, hello. I haven't seen you for a little while. Tora! Oh, it's been forever. What are you all doing here? Oh, we would ask you the same question. Well, I was following the call of Zalaj, like most snow-called children do. We were kind I ended of, up here. We were also kind of following him in a roundabout way. Took us a bit longer to get here oh. than we thought. Okay. Um, well, you're not supposed to talk to me. Uh, the, the king wants to talk to you. We can have a chat later. I'm just here to show that I'm alive and to corroborate any story and gives you context. Don't, don't. I'm, I'm, I'm babbling. I'm babbling. I'm babbling. <laughs> uh, Rudy turns to the king and goes, and and thinks to thinks to like towards him if that's even possible, um, Your Majesty, I, I, good to see you still standing, still with us. And you see, as you say that, the king taking his the the three arms still intact, sort of stands up to his full height, and he stands very tall. I, this I, large, huge-sized creature. I didn't mean that you had... Oh, that was poor choice of words. I apologize. <laughs> and he bows his head. Oh. And you all hear... I wish to thank you all for coming to our aid. You broke into our domain, but your intent was made clear. And if not for your friend's intervention and gestures towards Imperial and Rudy, I would have most likely perished. And I fear my people enslaved. So once again, bows the head deep. I thank you. 
The mighty Dionysus says that you need the aid of Thalage. However, that is not possible. Are we too late? Yes and no. Thalage is no longer with us, but has passed on the essence to this one. He just restores two rocks. Oh. We did know this. We figured as such when Arthur told yeah. us. Yeah. Well, well when yeah. like Dionysus was like, mm. me and Tura, mm. and I was like, okay. yeah. yeah. And then it just kind of looks unfazed and just nods. Like, <laughs> May I ask, for what purpose do you need the aid of the white dragon? Well, you, you met the purpose actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, long, I won't bore you with the details, but long story short, Jalea and the one she serves wants to, you know, this is going to sound hilarious, she wants to destroy the world with endless war. We don't want that, believe it or not. So, we're looking for the Ur dragons for assistance. So the weapons your adversary means to use, you would use against your adversary. Mm. But to save no, the world I mean, from endless like war. Stop her getting them is the main priority. We would rather not uh, remove the essences of the Ur dragons. We'd rather them keep. He holds up a hand. If that is your goal, then leave Tura with us. We have an ancient compact with Falage. Until his essence is fully assimilated into Tura, we are bound to protect them. All right, but, um, uh, and forgive me for saying so, but uh, you weren't doing a good job of that just now. <laughs> um, what Gerald means. Well, it's true. Is, um, Jalira did me. not know that Talaj had passed on. Tura was under Jalira's nose, and she had no idea. Hmm. We also have numbers. We have the natural advantage. Natural fortifications that Jalira cannot break. That all that makes is sense. True. So if you're, you're saying if she were to come back, you would be able to repel her this time? Unless she brought an army. But she, she does, does have, have an one, army. Though. Yes. She she does, yeah. but... Did I mention the endless war? To kind of do that, you do require <laughs> she, an endless army. A, an she, army of the undead. Uh... We are aware of the deal made between dragons and gods. That's when so much the veil falls, we will return to our home. This war is not ours. Okay, but that's... Let but me... you can confirm that you will be protecting Tura until... We have to. Would do you... It is not well, a choice. Do you, have a... do you know how long that might be? Because once you stop, there we're going no to way... need to pick up. There's no way to tell. It could be months, years, days, centuries. Uh, Tura, and you're okay with this, are you? Look, it's not the best. But I kind of agree with them. I can tell nope. this is... This is... They just look at themselves. This is not something we can let fall into that bitch's hands. No, absolutely not. Um, I do have a, another quick question, though. Uh, what happened after I left? Because did you know that she got out 
kind of came and saw us, attacked us. It's quite violent, I actually. I knew she left, yes. <clears throat> After you came, my soldiers arrived, and she went into a frenzy, killing many before vanishing. Oh, well, sorry. It is part. I would have stayed to help. Duty. But I kind of died, so, you know. <laughs> That tends to make things harder. No, oh, most certainly. <laughs> if Rudy could, he'd be winking right now. The, the king can relate. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, if Tura can't come with us, I suppose that's all there is to it. In, well, in I have one more question for you, your majesty. Yes. Would you or someone in the village have room for seven or eight travelers and and if you like i i might be able to do something about that arm in the morning he looks down at the arm I will not decline such an offer, but I will also not ask for it. Mm. It is up to you. If you wish to stay the night, we will have room. As much as you I would love to, to get on the road, I don't know that we're any in any shape to do so. So in exchange for your hospitality, well, not even that. I, I'll be honest, my king, I would do it anyway. But in exchange, I, I will treat you to the best of my ability. But for now, I think we all need a bit of rest. Oh, yes. That was a rough day. Could, um, sorry, just to get back on the topic of tour and assisting. Would it, I know you said this war slash battle slash end of the world shenanigans isn't your issue which is completely understandable you'll be able to go home that's fantastic uh, is it at all possible to at least receive updates on tourist status and the potentiality of them returning Tura speaks up and says you know I'd love to help but when I left Bora it was a shit show. <laughs> no. Yeah. If I can, if I can somehow get this power under wraps, I'm probably heading back there to make sure that you know everyone's okay. Oh, well, that's yes. what I mean. Bora was we just, a shit show. Yes. We just need a way of knowing that if you are in trouble, that we can come to help. It, just because Jalira failed now, she's very good at returning and making up for past failures. Trust me, the last time she could only fire one disintegration ray, when she figured out one wasn't enough, she came back with three. Good news is three is... Oh, we lost our wizard. Oh, he does that sometimes. <laughs> He'll be back. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's going to do a little bit of that. Uh, it, she's just... What, what works today won't work tomorrow with her. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll do, I'll do the thing. Yeah, do the thing. Do the thing. Hold on, people. We're doing the thing. The thing has been done. Except we lost Nana. Oh no! No, <laughs> I'm right it's here. just, it's just the, the camera setup. Yeah. You just got to find oh, her again. No, we did. There, where? There! Oh my God! There yeah. she is. Look, we're sorry. Oh, that's the right. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Hang on, we lost. Hello. Oh my gosh, we're gonna find Nana again. Oh, Where'd you put Nana? me? I found you. I found you. Just we're moving. You. We're moving. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're doing. So what were you asking? Okay. Um, <laughs> train of thought gone. Um, it, it was more of a like. Jalira knows. No, she doesn't know, but it's just... If you she learns from her weaknesses. And I feel that even though we you claim that we have tricked her and, or potentially avoided detection for now, 
that could be just for now. So if there's any way of maintaining contact, and and then Tura, if you do go to Bora, letting us know how Bora is and if you need assistance there, if the, you know, the final battle hasn't come yet, we can certainly attempt to assist. Tora says, well, there's probably a bunch of people around here that knows enough magic to send messages. The king just nods. All we ask is that you maintain contact with us if anything happens for good or ill. If, because the last thing we need is that woman gaining any more power. We want Arthur, to help where we can. Arthur slowly puts a hand up. Yes, the tall, Arthur, pointy eared one people. in the back. Look, it's the only way I can be heard sometimes. Um, oh, great king. Um, I, I have a question. Uh, do you guys have somewhere that you sell a lot of magical items at all? I know this is totally out of question. Oh, no. hey. Roger's back. Hey, there he is. If you if you remove your other per thing, Josie, it'll we'll have to readjust. So maybe just leave it. Well, what do you mean? Everything looks fine on my end. Yeah. 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 Everything's fine now. Yeah. Like, I'm good now. Yeah. I'm fine. Don't, don't touch I'm, it. I'm I'm confused. <laughs> it's I'm okay. very confused. Just don't. It's okay. Like, why would I? That that's there's supposed to be an extra one there. I'm not gonna remove it. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought we had two extra ones. That's all. Yeah, and I removed one as soon uh, as Rogue entered. Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. <clears throat> anyway, the king sort of looks like he has. He says, "I, I'm sorry, but we will save all the items." that we have but we have prepared so thank you oh oh well, i meant i was gonna buy something but okay i'm afraid if she returns with an army we will need all the things that we have at our disposal arthur now is not the time to be asked <laughs> And you see two Gedelgons wearing, like, tabards. They come carrying a large metal coffer. Oh. Arthur goes to walk to meet them halfway, because obviously it'll be quite heavy. And they sort of, like, as soon as you walk up, they just drop it and step to the side. <laughs> oh, um... Mm. Arthur just opens it there then. Oh. <laughs> he's, like, he's, he's like, uh, okay. When did he get so loot hungry? I don't understand. When? I'll tell you. Session one. <laughs> <laughs> not me grabbing that pile what of flying. This? Arthur, not. You see, you look so greedy right now. What are you doing? I, I went to go help them and then they dropped it. And uh. look, I'm not gonna try and pick it back up again Arthur opens up the, the chest or okay. well, as you oh. open that up thank you you uh Thevenus and Enderial step forward and Enderial says I'll probably be staying here considering the protections and that Jalira is after me for similar reasons and if she does come here that'll be a reason for me to give her some payback Maybe, maybe train a little bit before going in for that payback. Rudy, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was going to anyway. Good. If that's okay with your Majesty, and the King just like nods towards Andiriel, Fevenus turns to the group and says. I will be heading back to my ship. I fear if Jalira is on the water pass, maybe I should go back and see that everyone is okay. Also, has anyone seen Benny? 
<laughs> he just starts looking around. Wait. Where the fuck did Penny go? Yeah, because he was in the cave. And then we set up the defenses. And then we just sort of stopped yeah. talking about him. Did, did <laughs> Penny just sit in the cave the whole... All right. All right. Oh. That's probably uh, best for the best plan. <laughs> so, Pevina says, I, I will be leaving probably before the nightfall. Uh, but if you are staying, uh, wish you all good luck. If the ship is safe, we will be in Grey Wharf for a few days before heading off. Yeah. If I do not see you all again, it's been a pleasure. He lifts his hat, showing you all his horns. Oh, uh, Captain, I'm sorry. Where do you intend to go? I just no told beyond. You my ship. Sorry, no beyond that. If you uh, again, the same. Not request for aid, but... We will be there. Mm. When the day comes, we will be there. Thank you. Do not worry. And he Thank just... You. starts... He nods and he turns around and he... takes a bit of a running start before he just starts elongating into his draconic form and just starts porpoising in the air. <laughs> now, I'm going to say it. We all knew there was something weird about him, right? What are you talking about? You think dragons are weird? That's very rude. No, before we, we didn't know he was a dra- <sighs> I, uh, We've known that for some time now, haven't we? <laughs> no, only no. Arthur knew. <laughs> only Arthur knew. <laughs> Mm. You found Didn't you we... found out like a couple of days ago. Yeah, oh, true. Okay. Nana found out first and sort of didn't say anything because she's like, probably not what I should mention. <laughs> Sounds like a him thing. Yeah, yeah. Gerald's just gonna pretend that he knew. Am yeah. I the only yeah. one who didn't know? Oh, that's... oh, I had no idea, Rudy. Don't. Oh, worry. thank you, Nana. I'm glad. <laughs> I was gonna for a second there. Arthur. I... <laughs> yes. You're looking through. Yep. And you see inside this large coffer. You see. Wait, when do we get a coffer? When it fell uh, When you got disconnected. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah you you got, we got a coffer, yeah. It was our yeah. little Arthur large, immediately large started coffer. rifling through. Yeah. Um, inside, you find two smaller lock boxes. They are unlocked. Inside one of them, you see large stacks of gold coins and gold bars. In the other one, platinum. Ooh. Okay, okay. As as well as um, what looks like mirror polished, almost like a, a leather cap with a crown of ice that has mirror polished in the large spires, Ooh. and they're very flat looking. Oh, oh okay. That's you also see cool. you also see a um, a potion bottle. That you recognize it is a potion of superior healing arthur's going to do a good old sneaky and try and pocket that bad boy with the, the potion cool. yeah okay make a slight of hand have to steal you don't have to body right <laughs> you don't have... Just have that arthur <laughs> i don't want you guys to know oh that. my god <laughs> 25 does anyone have a passive Perception over twenty-five. I don't think so. No. No. Does. No. no. Yeah. yeah. Twenty. No, though, you just, but... Yeah. You pocket the potion, but the last item is this large, two-pronged lance with a handle made out of bone, polished bone. Uh, up, and you it... can feel cold radiating, uh. and it is completely see-through. Looks like glass. Oh, so Arthur's going to pick it up like this, like that, and like literally as it's, much as it's strength. It's pretty big. He's just Not picking up both, both like tip of his fingers. He's just grabbing it and he's like, mm -hmm. Rudy, this one's yours. It's can you, bone. Can you just, you. can you just put it back in the coffer and no. we'll take it into the room that we're going to stay in and then we will deal with it. We are we are talking with a king. We are we are trying to figure out plans, and you're rifling through a. 
<laughs> just put it back. Put it back in the box. Just put it back Arthur. in the box. Back Arthur in the box. Put it back in the box, and then he's gonna close by himself to lift up the whole thing and walk it back. Oh my down. God. Make an <sighs> athletics check. No. I mean, he is wearing the he is wearing the belt. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. for it. Yeah. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> it is not budging. <laughs> right. We'll let him deal and with. You close it and you grab one of the hinges on the side, and it just like uh, not moving. Arthur turns anyway. around and he goes, "And this is why I was handing it out." <laughs> you could have just waited. They would have. Anyway, Tom King... Exactly. The king addresses you all again and says, "Unless you have anything else." I will be retiring to my quarters. Uh, yes, um, please just, get dressed And I want well. to make one thing clear. The debt has been paid. We may not be enemies, but we are not allies. And he walks away with his escort. <clears throat> Uh, and just to clarify, was there anything else I missed while I was DC? I think that was I don't it. Think uh, so. You were here when Fevinus took his leave. Yeah, you were yeah, here. Fevinus didn't um, left. Th there was no like. Imperial is staying was here. Stay. Aid or anything? Oh, no. Imperial staying. Imperial staying. Okay. And... Yeah, you might have missed that. Yeah. Um, and... Benny, we just forgot to look for, so he's probably still in the cave. Yeah. Please tell us he's still in the cave, Josie. <laughs> Yeah, and what's, you um... did see Fevinus head off in that direction. Yeah, he's still in the Yeah, and... Pesty's with us. I'm imagining he's just chilling. Oh yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah, the... Fevinus head off. Pesty's with you. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. And cool. um, and Tura cannot leave, not due to being bound here, but the Gelligons are bound to protect Tura until yeah. Tura has fully assimilated the. Um, so we kind of agreed that we will be contacted when that happens, for good or ill. We will be contacted when something happens. Cool. Okay. Mm. That's what I wanted to yep. know primarily what the deal there was. Mm. Cool. Yes. Nice. Okay. Well. You have uh, you have the opportunity to rest if you nice. want to. Uh, oh, you yes. can definitely stay the night. Mm. Rudy uh, will. You are led. It? You are led to a small hut. It is. Uh, it is. Uh, if you look at. Foundry. Oh, sorry. Oh. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I I've got Foundry down. up. Wait, yeah. where is, where is I've still got it up. It is about 4 p.m. Perfect. Uh, I, okay, perfect. I closed um, that again. Oh, yeah. Where do you where do you look to bring the thing back up once you've closed it yeah, for the, for the that's calendar? That's what I did. You know, that's a great question. Because it kind of gets in the way. I will find <laughs> out. It's, the well, it's well, absolutely you, in no, the if way. You double, or... If you double click it, it minimizes. What? Okay. Yeah, well, then, oh, where, does, like, where does it minimize to? <laughs> is the question. You can move it around. I'll show you um, later. For me, it's we'll, just very small. I just we'll see the have date a look and the later. Okay, okay, yeah, we'll look at it later. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah. Right. Um, Arthur, I mean, Rudy would have helped Arthur eventually bring the coffer, but the whole time we are moving it, he would be going, look, just next time you let them bring it to you, and then you just respectfully wait till we get into the privacy of our own room then we can go through the loot like the greedy little gremlins we are, okay? Just... Yes. And you are shown to a small hut <laughs> that you can, you can all use. It does have sort of like a, a sink down in the middle. There's like a pit with a fireplace and there's a chimney going up. Is there space for a tiny hut within the tiny hut? <laughs> uh, not enough because you, you would have to either make part of it go outside or cover the fire pit. That would be okay. Josie, I, can, I can make a bit of it outside. That's fine. Yeah. Is is there is there a fire pit like in that little village square at all, or is there like a communal? No, they area? they seem to keep all like all fires are kept indoors. Indoors. Okay. Oh, yeah. also, I'm gonna um, ritual cast another private sanctum just to just covering just the hut. Small, a small yep. one. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be that's gonna be part of the part of the everyday now. <laughs> part of the everyday. Oh. Woo. Um, can we also get a, a check on that lance as well? Yeah. Oh yeah, I suppose I'll go through and. You want to do some? 
identification. Identify anything that needs identifying. Yeah, the crown okay. and the yeah. yeah. So at that point where the you guys are looking at the scepter, Arthur's put on the crown for funsies. Uh, what have we said have about we? putting things on Arthur? Oh, what are you talking about? It's just a crown. Take it off. Gonna... Nothing is ever well, just in anything. Arthur, Look how good it looks. Arthur, Rick. I cannot believe that in the same day. <sighs> uh, he puts it on. It mm -hmm. just looks like a, a leather cap that sort of like falls on his head, and it has this this like ice crown around the head. But all of the large spires, there's like uh, three of them, one in the front, two near the back. They are like rather wide, and they have they're polished to mirrors. Arthur, the last thing the king said to us was that we may not be enemies, but we're also not allies. There could have been a trap in there for all we know. And as you put the helmet on, you can tell it requires attunement. Arthur just goes, it's, it's, it's not doing anything. It makes me, I got to Arthur, I can it. see that it's magical. <laughs> oh, if it's magical, what does it do? Just take it off. Yeah, to give it, it, is, uh... it is emanating very strong conjuration magic. No. Oh no. It's some form of conjuration, uh, I think. Um Arthur, just best best is, let me identify is that like it before raise we... the dead? Take <laughs> Arthur quickly takes it off. Arthur, <clears throat> I, didn't we have this conversation a month ago or so? You and, pledged and to a do month better. Before that, you... And I'm pretty sure a week before that. I I just sometimes I I don't know how you're still alive, honestly, Arthur. Arthur just turns around and, and goes... And then he goes and pouts. We've done this before as well. <laughs> he just turns around and goes for the platinum. Starts no! divvying it up. I need to roll some dice. I almost thought he was going to start pocketing that. For all we know, he already pocketed something in there too. <laughs> now, now, uh, Arthur might be a bit of an airhead, but he's not a thief. <laughs> Yeah, imagine stealing. Not like, not like that George. Whoa, so, well, Gerald. Well, look, he's a, to be fair, he was a thief. But he didn't Too steal soon. from Too us. Soon. Too soon. He was doing well, his not best. Not that we know of, anyway. Nana wants to start getting some dinner ready. Even though it's a little okay. early. She just feels like everyone's had a very long day. She's kicking herself for not sending Fevinus with a snack. Um... She has invited Enzeriel and uh, and Tura in if they would like, um, but if they don't partake, you know, if they they, they seem to have gone inside. They look like they pretty tired. They gave off the vibes that they wanted to talk about something. Yeah, that's probably fair. half uh, dragon things. Uh, understandable. That I'm sure I'll catch them another time. I don't know about I. Sure, imagine feeling, you know, that you're the most powerful being in the room and then literally going to punch someone and then having them laugh at you and almost cut you in half. Probably pretty humbling when you think about it. Or did I mention Enderial kind of failed at the moment where I needed her most? Rudy, she was still there, though. Uh, I don't, I don't see you or any of us doing any better. Um, we only succeed because we're uh, together. Individually, we all fail constantly. Yeah, I know, but... And you didn't exactly survive unscathed yourself. She came back better than you did. Because of me! Because of you? Yes. You came back in a worse condition? Because she came back at all. I taunted Jalira. I essentially gave myself to Delira to prevent her from attacking Enderiel again. Well, that is very noble, Rudy. Noble and stupid. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they go hand in hand. Let Delira get the other half of the blue Ur dragon essence. No, oh, well, that's a good point. All right, I'll give you that one. <clears throat> what item are you identifying first? Um, I guess whichever one I'm handed first. The so. lance, probably. Yeah. We would have had to wrestle the other one off, Arthur. 
Okay. So you uh, you want to spend the ten minutes on the old identify? Indeed. You can look up if you will. I the will. The item called Rhyme Lance. Um, R I M E. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so after a, after a little bit of concentration and and meditation, uh, oh. Well, uh, as you'd already guessed, it's uh, Maidus Ferrara. Um, it's very magical. Um, it's pretty well balanced. I imagine someone uh, someone might be able to throw it, even, I think. Um, you'll do a lot of extra cold damage if you hit something, and it seems to, it seems to have some sort of enchantment that pierces the resistances, if... If one is resistant to cold, so um, I would say that a... Gerald Gerald would be able to deduce that that is because this is not normal Sferera, it's a refined Sferera. Oh, so it, it looks it is completely <laughs> yeah. This is completely see through. It looks like glass. Oh, hmm. Um. Uh, also, uh, if you get hit with it, it's it'll slow you down as well. Which is pretty cool. So you need someone strong and versatile um, to use it. It is a versatile weapon. Yes. Um, if uh, yes, it's a spear basically, and just very, uh, very fancy, quite powerful. Uh, if I were to give it a rating between uh, between one and five on a power scale of, I would say it's like a plus three. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at it now. Holy shit! <laughs> so it's no slouch. Oh no, this is quite a uh, this is a very rare weapon. Hmm. Nice. Um, well, I know well, I would this... be able to use it with some form of proficiency. I'm not particularly good with spears myself. Um, well, Do you actually, know if oh, wait, a, spears are, a spear is a simple weapon. It is. Yes. Rudy can only use simple, simple weapons. So, yeah, same, same. Mm. Uh, well, uh, oh, it's I mean, technically a spear. It falls under a spear. Yes. It is a spear. Spear era. Spear era. Oh, era. Yeah. Spear era. <laughs> <laughs> so we could all use it. Must Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. That's mm. great. Mm. I was like, it's, I can And it does it. not require attunement. Because, oh. uh, because it's its power its power comes from the material. Right. That's, that's pretty. Yeah, it uh, it's it's, it's, not, it's, it's not yeah, it's not enchanted in any way. It's just wow. the fact of the material it is made out mm. of. But mana has a minus one in strength, so no thank you. <laughs> um Arthur's you gonna that. start looking at Rudy and going, well. It looks like it's a little bit more your sort of thing, isn't it? Does it? I've used a large variety of weaponry on our Well, journey. that's what I'm saying. I've kept to my bow and the sword. You've used nearly every weapon you can. Well, that's the because sun. the hammer I used to use could literally explode at any moment in time. That's what I'm saying. You haven't found your weapon yet. I don't know. George's magic is pretty potent. <laughs> Oh, look, we, we can always decide, but I don't think it's going to be me. Look, it's twice my size. I uh, can't lift that. It is, As she it lifts is, a huge uh... pot, she's like, I can't lift that. <laughs> <laughs> it's enchanted. Most enchanted items will change size. I don't know about this one necessarily, but most of them. Hmm. Well, if you need to stick it in my bag, you can. What about you, Gerald? Do you, do you fancy using a spear at all? Um, I, I usually have my hands mostly full. Uh, I've got a couple of daggers, uh, okay. you know, worst case scenario, but, um, I don't really know it is know a versatile it... weapon, it can be used one hand or two hands. <gasps> oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Darcy ones. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's, it's not my forte. It's, uh, the knives are good because you don't need much strength. I'm... Um, I skip arm day, you know. Oh, I, I can tell. Um, look, 
pretty arm day, leg day, core as, day, as much as cardio day. every day. I skip every day. <laughs> as much as I would like it, because you know me, I like nice weapons. I think this is more suited for you. No, oh, well, I mean, I'll I'll hang on to it. That's for sure. Oh, oh, shoot! I should have given back this gauntlet. I was just thinking the shield, and it's like still floating, like following. <laughs> she's like pats it. She's like, oh, do you want to? I'm like, no, all right. Well, we, we have to find. Well, it hovers. It it keeps to your arm, like it's oh, hovering like it's an actual at your shield. Arm. So yeah, she just pats un the top of it. You, like, yeah, like it's it can only detach for a little bit of time at a time. We well, yeah. yeah we should we should return these items to Enderial when we can. Um, yes, yes. We could probably see them tomorrow. You mean Feminus? Oh, fe oh. I, I wasn't I... there for the session. That's why I thought it was Enderial. Oh, oh shit. no, 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 it's Feminus. This I was thought you meant like Alana, was yeah, Alana, Alana, Alana literally took these from Feminus' private stash and was like, oh. you're not using them. Stop. Oh. And he was like, they're mine. Oh. Mine? <laughs> <laughs> my stuff. Yeah. It was like, um. Feminus, your dragon's showing. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know. Hmm. Um, Gerald, do you want to identify the second item? We'll talk about this. I speaker. most certainly do. Okay, so another ten minutes go by, and I want you to look at your Discord because I want to see your reaction when you see what item this is. Oh, this is a Gerald item. Oh heck! Oh heck! Is this something that makes him even more scared? Of look things? at that face. Must be good. Oh. He's been wearing that tiara the whole time, right? Yeah, and it's been causing yeah. him anxiety. Knowledge is not power. Knowledge. This is, is a anxiety. crown of anxiety, Cuddly. This <laughs> makes Gerald the queen of anxiety. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is that is quite useful. See, more anxiety. Let's go. I love more anxiety. That's what I thrive. As you identify it, though, I will tell you that anyone who mm -hmm. attunes to it becomes permanently congested in their sinuses and can't and lose their sense of smell right <laughs> i mean we do not want a snoring sn friggin okay as someone who has actually been congested for two weeks straight at this point i can say that is a curse worse than many things <laughs> that's, that's a that's a that's a something. Um, so, that's really funny. So, so, so Gerald, what is and I'm, it? And I'm, I am able to tell that that's the case? Yes. Okay. We've just watched Gerald's face go... This like, whole time. Oh. <laughs> he's like, this he's is... reading, he's reading it, and then like, oh, and then the fine print. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> May cause. <laughs> Side effects Side do effects. include. <laughs> this is something all right. Um, so... Uh, this is actually a helm of teleportation. <laughs> um, uh, however, it seems that the uh, the 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 Sferera that it's made from uh, causes uh, congestion, a lot of congestion. Um, odd choice to to make it like this, but um, there you are. Uh, but teleportation is very potent magic. Um, oh. uh, from from what I understand, reads the spell, uh, this spell instantly teleports you and up to eight willing creatures of your choice that you can see within range or a single object you can see within range Holy to a destination you select. If you target an object, it must be able to fit entirely inside a 10-foot cube, can't be held or carried by an unwilling creature. The destination you choose must be known to you, and it must be on the same plane of existence. Your familiarity with the destination determines whether you arrive there successfully, uh, and the GM will roll a d100 and consult the table. So it, it's literally a go anywhere in a single action. Holy spell. moly! So up to three yes. times per day. Up to three holy times. Per day. Hang on, hang on. Three. We've yeah. unlocked and fast re travel. And it regenerates. 1d3 charges daily at dawn. With so that's why this I said is, up to three. Oh, yeah. This oh, is that's... instant transmission. Uh, yeah. Okay, you don't but like my you trees. might that's not fine. end up exactly where you want to. Mm. I mean, depending on how familiar cool. you are with the thing. Yeah. yeah. Um. So after he's 
teleportation yeah. and he goes but also also literally anything you can see yeah mm. so, so you yeah. can teleport any item that you can see <laughs> or yourself and up to eight yeah that's creatures. huge yeah. it's it's huge like so much for having it's real good oh my uh, you just have to put up with congestion <laughs> word of recoil i mean i mean look yeah i'm not going to lie that i mean congestion i don't have a i mean i have nostrils but i don't know how it can you be congested i don't know well, shall we try it does require roll, attunement roll for have... muc mucus membranes <laughs> <laughs> you have, uh... you don't know. Out of character, you, you you took that feat as well, so you've got an empty achievement slot, right? Well, this is the thing, right? I, I'm not going to lie. Use that. If it's Rudy, a thing in there. Well, yeah, but if if Rudy removes achievement from the staff of Withering, which is while very cool, magic in one hand, slot. lance or spear, spear in the feet. other, and then God. just gun lance, gun lance, well, teleportation. Oh Could we? Could we could, could we like put in some some downtime work and actually make a magic lance gunslinger <laughs> like just fires the lance and then recalls? Oh my god, please, Jesse, please. We we can have oh a conversation because well, there will be a lot of downtime. <laughs> oh my gosh, have a conversation. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Okay. Um, so okay, yeah. Because I was initially going to fish for the belt of strength from. Arthur, because strength plus that lance would um, mm, yes. create some very potent attacking. Um, it would, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would turn you into a suddenly a melee fighter. Yeah, when we really so don't, don't have a melee have, fighter. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you have the number of attacks that Arthur does, though, right? No, not at all. Not I at mean, all. Arthur can get a lot of, especially yeah. he, he's got horde breaker as well. So got to pronounce that D. Please uh, pronounce uh, the or, D. Or you've got to pronounce the D. We've said this before, <laughs> even horde as a joke. Breaker. Horde, horde breaker. Breaker for anyone listening at home. And he does it on purpose at this point, everyone. So it's less of a joke. Please, uh, orb stop. It's more of an annoyance. Please, orb stop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but amazing. yes, uh, you can of course swap around, mm. swap around items as you choose. But for now, yes. I'm more curious if there's anything particular your characters would like to do. Uh, no, oh, not Nana no. seems. Yes. Oh. To have something. Yes. Yes. Nana is taking a little bit longer to prepare a meal tonight. Uh, can I ask? We don't have Endereal and Tura. Do we have Dionysus? Dionysus uh, takes human form and joins you, yes. Okay, so we have Dionysus, Pesty, and us four. That's perfect. And six. she's actually... Yeah, it's, yeah, so six. She's actually going to make um, four extra plates. And just, mm -hmm. just like, just, just because. And not really necessarily um, say who they're for. Um, and the meal she makes tonight is... Uh, somehow, you're not exactly sure where she got this or how long she's been carrying it. Somehow, there is fresh bread and a root vegetable stew. Oh, yeah. I would oh. actually eat the heck out of that right That's, now. Yeah. 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 And she sort of sets, she she gives you all, she makes you set the table. Um, she actually puts everyone to work. Um, and before she starts, like, letting everyone eat, because she sees Rudy poised, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. That'll be good. And she has two extra plates set out. Um, and, and then the other two kind of off to the side. Um, and the, she said, I just wanted to tell you how much... I know we have our differences, but I appreciate you all. And then she just um, gestures to, for everyone to eat. Um, and the food... I Taste. want you to say the name of this ability. I gotta go back to my abilities. Okay. Oh, is this your final <laughs> relic ability? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So we've had two yeah. uses. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Uh, she's going to continue with her speech. 
And, and furthermore, <laughs> Rudy was about Rudy's to. Like about oh. <laughs> oh God, I know we say grace. <laughs> we made some mistakes today, and we're going to make mistakes in the future. But if one thing's for certain, we always have each other, and we're always going to have dinner. Because remember, you can't save anyone on an empty stomach. <laughs> Incredibly on brand. <laughs> yes, and um, I love this that food is like Bible. I don't know. Nana's made good food before, but this is like something exquisite. It is good, Josie. Chip. How does it taste? It tastes so good. It is. You can definitely tell it's a root vegetable stew and freshly baked bread rolls, but it just tastes. Like how you want it to taste. Like no matter, ev even though you're all eating the same food, everyone gets a sense of nostalgia. Like for Gerald, it might remind you of uh, of eating with the other children. Like when when there was enough money around to make food or buy food. For Rudy, it might be so far back. It's your mom's homemade meal. For Arthur, you might remember a time when your parents cooked food for you. Your dad had made this. And for Nana, there's that lingering memory of the whole full set table and all the children that have come through your life. And um, what happens then? Well, should I just read it or should I just tell you? Oh, I have a go hope. Ahead, I, have a hope on what this you, is. I mean, it's Josie just... worded this exquisitely, I, so I'm like, read it. I love the wording I think that of all needs of these. To be celebrated. Yeah. Uh, you have always excelled at comforting others, not only with your food, but your presence. The scent of an understanding relative is something that balms the soul. The rhythmical clanging of your spoon against the inside of the cauldron at dinner time. You instill safety and bravery in those around you. Once per day, as part of a short or long rest, you can spend an hour to prepare a wonderful meal that soothes worries. This takes the effect of a hero's feast. <gasps> what? what? That's once per day! Oh, I don't wait, care about that. More. Smooths worries. Wait, <laughs> soothes and worries? There's more. Wait, wait, if, there's you, more. if you were to cast the spell by normal means, you can increase the max HP that it gives. Um, by another 2d10. So I can just keep feeding you. That's the only thing Rudy has ever wanted is someone to keep feeding him at this point. <laughs> right? Right? And I thought it was very fitting now that she's had her own little feast. Oh, so I believe that. for the next 24 hours, mm -hmm. I want Nana to roll, I believe it is 2d10, or is it 2d12? Uh, I think That's it insane. is... Let me just check. I think it is 2d10. Oh my god. What a feast. I was mm -hmm. thinking it was Hero's Feast. I really was. It is That's 2d10, so, so Nana, roll 2d10. 2d10 plus 4. No, not plus 4, just 2d10. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> good try, good try. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, hey, I got a 10. So That's I, not bad. That's, That's not terrible, yeah. Middle. Yeah. Yeah. So um, for the next 24 hours, all of you have your maximum hit points increased by 10. You are immune to poison and being frightened. You are cured of diseases or poisons, and all of your wisdom saving throws are with advantage. Whoa. Which I feel like we're going to need after each other. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Does Is anyone. It right just put temp hit points in there is that is it, like no it, there's you can override max hit points if you click on oh your okay so it's immunity to poison and, and being um, frightened and being frightened oh my god yeah oh, so this huge dude's worries like I don't, Gerald, I don't think he's ever experienced that <laughs> he, like no matter how hard he tries he cannot be afraid <laughs> so that was wow. immunity to poison and sorry fear Fear. And fear. Yes. 
And if you did, if you were poisoned or you had any conditions, then you could um, so, <laughs> would overcome them. Does anyone suddenly feel less diseased? <laughs> Just out of curiosity. Is it you? <laughs> Do I just yeah. already suddenly feel? <clears throat> uh, okay, cool. Oh, this uh, my te my hit points are going to become such a headache to to remember now. Yeah, All right, I'm so out, I'm, but I'm down I'm to kind of intending to do this every the dinner. Up so like, it's oh no! Just have. What, what was the max HP modifier? Sorry, it was ten. Ten. Yes. Okay. So yes, Nana has the ability to, if she spends the time, she can do this once per day. But yes. if she were to cast a spell by normal means, it becomes a buff essentially. Mm. Yeah, like which is great and fantastic, mm, that's and we love yeah. it. That's so and good. Food. food, and so it food. does. It does take another hour to finish the meal, so the whole process is two hours. Yeah, yeah. That's so. And... By the time you finish the food, yeah. the sun has set. The only light in the tent you've been given is the faint fire that you've been keeping alive, and you're all now so full of food and nana would have eventually let rudy have two of the plates yes <laughs> because they were actually for george and goose oh yeah so she would have been like Aww. they're not going to show up rudy you can but just... you don't get extra benefits no, that's okay rudy does not want food. the extra benefits <laughs> I mean, I, rudy got the benefit that he wanted I could... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, that That's was so amazing. good. <clears throat> so as night comes, is there anything specific anyone wants to do? Um, Rudy um, would, uh, would, I suppose a conversation that Rudy would bring up while they're eating, because he's assuming Dionysus is eating too, right? So that, yeah. that's probably the best meal he's had in like m months. Oh, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> hopefully. I yeah. don't know. Would a hero's feast fill an Ur dragon? I don't know. Hey, because it's, magical. it's magical food. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Interesting. Sure. Um, he would sort of bring up the conversation, like you know, like, oh, well, Dionysus. I, I mean, I'd hate to bring business back into this moment of calm, but no, it is about time we get talking. What are you going to do now? Next. Honestly. Return to my domain. Tell my people the truth. And prepare. Does that mean that when you say tell them the truth uh, about the ore? Yes. About me. About the ore. The ore will remain regent. I will tell them the truth. About me, about the potential oncoming war. But fear not, little mortal. I will join you in this fight. That is very reassuring. Thank you, Dionysus. Yes. Would it be wise to meet you in Ebonspire like the others? That's I will be there gathering. before the time comes. Everyone After keeps... I've made sure my domain is safe and Such. secure. Of course. Has anyone else noticed everyone saying before the time, when the time comes? But we don't know when the time is... Oh, that's all right. We'll... It's fine. <laughs> For some reason, I'm, I'm not too concerned at the moment about that. <laughs> <laughs> that's this very... is a strange Gerald. feeling. <laughs> did, you put, did you spike this food, Nana? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling it. weird. <laughs> no, no, no. She spiked it with love. That it, it, yes, with love. Oh, <laughs> oh you. <laughs> oh, it, when you do it, go back to the ore. Do you mind asking? Just, just letting him know that next time he wants to test someone, he doesn't have to repeatedly slam them into the ground over and over again. Because while I did enjoy our little fisticuffs, it was a little painful. I will pass along the message. You know what I mean. <laughs> I got a good hit in, let me tell you. It's not often you get to punch an air dragon in the nose. Do you all need a ride anywhere in the 
small. Oh, no, I, I believe I can get us back to Ebon Spire quite easily, if you all want me to. Uh, That's probably not a bad idea. I, mean, yeah. I might we're... take my leave and get a head start. Do you need any more... No. Do you need any more healing or anything before you go? I've oh, got enough power to... you done much for me. Will you be safe? I will be very safe, yes. All right. Then. You make sure you contact us if there's any trouble, yes? I will. As long as Arthur wears that armor, I can call upon him. Doesn't matter who's wearing the armor, as long as someone's wearing the armor, right? <laughs> yes. Just, just as making sure. As long as someone is wearing the armor. Because if it was a special connection with Arthur, I'd be very worried. What's wrong with Arthur? D look, we've, we you, wonder that ourselves. Last time he had a special connection with an Erdragon, he sent us the wrong way. And then forgot to check his messages right. Okay, I'm just, I'm just remembering that time. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> 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 I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, I didn't know where we were going anyway. You could have just played it off like you you knew everything. I just I that's one of those moments. leans towards you, Arthur, and says, "I believe in my years of studying humans. Uh, bantering like this means they like you." Mm, look, they might like me too much for the amount of bantering they're giving me. <laughs> I see. I see. I did once hear an expression, odd as it may be, uh, someone said, Love starts with an argument and ends with a baby stroller. Well, you know what? I think Gerald and Rudy argue enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> that... Gerald looks awkwardly at Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, and I somehow don't think there's going to be a stroller involved. I don't know. I feel like well, Crater would look quite nice in a stroller. What? Put a little I mean, bow on him. He eats all Gerald's socks, so... Let's and uh, Dionysus stands, stands, <laughs> stands up and says, By your leave, and thank you all, Vanguard of the Black. You have forever the gratitude Dionysus Fenrir. The safe travels. See you along the stars, my friends. That's a good line. And he walks out. And you just hear like gasps and like <laughs> movements of awe from outside as like you hear the wings. <laughs> as Dionysus takes off into the night sky. What a happy ending to a terrible day. That was... That was a... The day was a lot. Um... But you know what? We... You know, I think we took a W here. I don't particularly need any part of the alphabet, but... I suppose I'd rather have that. That seems like a good letter. Uh, for for win, uh, as as. Uh, I thought you were going for, like for wings because you know we we took a wing out, but oh, no, that's a good too. I can see where you would. Go oh, that reminds me, hand. Gerald. You you have mm -hmm. to tell the queen about all this. Oh, I mean, Gerald, we'll be back tomorrow, but like ASAP. And and Arthur, you need to contact your girlfriend. I have been. Yeah, but we didn't. That was... We fought Jalira. Tell her that we're yes. still alive. You're yes, still alive. I was going to I... mention just before bed, before I, you know. No, oh, you would have forgotten. We all know it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, look. Um, yeah, Nana really puts you to work washing some dishes. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, all right, no squabbling. <laughs> Here comes the stroller. Here comes the stroller. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, yes, I guess I'll, I guess I'll message the queen uh, before we pack it in for the night. Um, 
uh, look, I, I, I know we said some not very nice things to each other in the stress of the moment on the tower, Rudy. Um, I just want you to know that uh, I, I might be, I might be a coward. Um, you might be right, um, but I, I want you to understand that my fear only comes from. Well, a lot of things, uh, but but the, the, in here it it comes because I care. Oh, I, I don't want to see harm befall all of you. I know, I know, Gerald. Because as much I, as I might have a long time back felt like you were all just meat shields to me, no offense. Uh, you know, you've grown on me. And I don't, I don't want anything bad to happen to any of you, even Arthur. No, well, well, I, on. Gerald, I, <laughs> I should be the one apologizing. And also, I don't make a very good meat shield. I don't have a lot of meat on me anymore. But well, I, you're, you're doing all right. You're not a coward, Gerald. You're smart. You're the smartest person here. You're the smartest person I've ever met. And. You're wise, far wiser than than I will ever be. But yes, I, I I know you only have our best interests at heart, and I think when we work together, it's this best sort of middle ground. Mine and Arthur's rashness, yours and Nana's calm collectiveness. It's it's a powerful team. I will do better to ensure that no one gets hurt. I need you to worry about kicking some serious butt and maybe uh, a little bit less I, about hiding. Well, I, I, I'd like to think that I hide when it is, um, uh, what's the word, uh, uh, good to do so advantageous to do so uh and uh i i think if anything i proved today that i'm willing to take the fight to oh. them if if push comes to shove absolutely i did i did see that in between the the very violent gust of wind and the fireball that then came to my face it yes i did see that <laughs> move that was very I, impressive i will i will admit that i was uh, a, a, a very um uh, very much expecting to die, uh, uh, but I'm glad I didn't. Um, so that's nice, I guess, for now. Hmm. Um, this food is really rather good, Nana. Um, <clears throat> oh, thank look, you, dear. All, all I'm saying is that sometimes, you know, maybe you're right. Maybe sometimes I am too hesitant to to engage in something I see that might be foolish. Um, but I think we need to maybe also tamp the foolishness down significantly. Please don't say me. Please don't say me. Please don't say me. We don't need to say you, Arthur. <laughs> no, we already watched you put on the hat. <laughs> the thing is, like, every time every time we do something silly like this i just i just fear the worst i and I, I i fear that you're going to you know that that hat that you put on is going to be a bomb and your head blows off or the or, or rudy that you know when you started rotting i i feared that that all of you would fall apart and i'd never get to talk to you again and, and all of this it scares me i i'm just i'm just a guy i'm just I'm just a guy named Gerald. The wizard. You're Gerald the wizard. You're not just Gerald. The... Look, we've come this far. I'm not a wizard. I know that. This is this is all for show. Yeah. No, no, but... I that's... Yes, I have a lot of power now. But this is all. This is all just armor, Rudy. The, the, the hat, the robes—it's all for show. 
I'm just some guy named Gerald who happened to have gotten tangled up in all of this. But uh, and all of it scares me constantly. And uh, before I might have just continued to run, but now I care. And and that's also terrifying. And I, I mean, don't. I feel rather calm right now. This is fantastic. But <laughs> generally speaking, <laughs> it, it's it's just fear all the time for myself, for you, for all of you, for the people we've met along the way, for the world. Now, I guess. Right. Uh, I I understand. Well. We can't af- we, I feel like we can't afford to just be shooting ourselves in the foot with our arrows. And, and no, not that wasn't at you, Arthur. Just you know, I was thinking of something you can shoot. Um, which, anyway, had to be arrows. It just made sense, Arthur. Uh, yeah, I'm not taking them personally. Yeah. Gerald, well, how about I make a promise? How about we all make a promise to each other that we will always continuously remind ourselves that while this journey does put us in danger at all times and we understand that our lives are always on the line that we should keep in mind that our personal decisions do affect everybody here Nana your decision to walk out with the with the with Jalira, while we didn't know it was her at the time, put you in danger. My frustration with seemingly Gerald not leaving his defenses led to me abandoning the most defensible defensible spot in this entire in the tower. We and Arthur, you put on the hell the the tiara the the crown whatever it is again. We all do foolish things at times and I think we need to be aware that Gerald is right we need to focus a little bit more but Gerald I would like you to promise something as well of course and Rudy goes into his bag and he pulls out the dread helm (laughs) that you will try to be more like the hero we found, Geraltazar. And he hands Gerald the, the helmet. <laughs> but inside you, Geraltazar's inside you. He's not the helmet. I rather wish it was the helmet. Well, you can take the helmet too, Gerald. It was more symbolic than anything else. But it's just... <sighs> oh. I've said my piece now and really like stuffs his face with like a whole bunch of potatoes and whatnot. It's, it's just... it, it looks it, terrible because he doesn't have cheeks, so it's just kind of all coming out again. <laughs> no, but, but as, as you start to like do the, do the huff and go to start stuffing your face, Gerald actually just like turns into you and just like clasps you in a hug. Uh, Okay. Um, uh, Gerald, uh, I, I, uh, like, shut up. Okay. And, and Rudy hugs you, but he's got two forks with like potatoes on them while he's, he's he, there's, there's like, there's a bit of stew getting on the back of your head as well. <laughs> we'll be all right. We'll work together. Suddenly all the illusions yeah. break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <damn potatoes>. yeah. <laughs> um, so um, while you guys are all doing the talks, Arthur's actually been giving up the money. Mm-hmm. And you see it's in five different piles. Ooh. So he hands over two Nana uh-huh. two thousand six hundred gold pieces. Ooh. Ooh nice. Damn. And two hundred and sixty platinum pieces. Damn. He two thousand and six hundred. Oh, sorry, did I hear that right? Two thousand six hundred. Yes. He then gives Rudy the same amount. 
Oh, I, I wish you said you just gave everyone that same amount because I was not listening. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> no, okay. exactly the same amount. So. Okay, so can you? how much gold again? 2,000. Oh, gold. Yeah, so 2,600. Okay. Uh, yep. And platinum? Yep. 360. Oh, my gosh. Gives Gerald That's the same amount. Holy sh... God damn it. I just, <laughs> just I tell us! <laughs> Why did you say that first? Because... <laughs> You, because you could see the fifth pile sitting there. Uh -huh. I was wondering who's that going to. No, yeah. not at all. And he not moves, at all. It, moves it to Pesty. <gasps> Let's go! He gives oh. Pesty a cut of 2,600 and gold and 260 platinum as well. Okay. And Let's Pesty go. just looks at it. I, 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 are, you, are, you, are you sure? Are, are you really sure? I don't feel like I, uh, you know, participated as much as everyone else. I don't know if I've really earned. I, I could maybe take a little bit. Pesty, are you it's, kidding it's, me? Like Did you much. see the spell? You, with the, when you hit with that spell, Jalira feared for her life. It was amazing. She did. Sorry, I wasn't really looking. I was scared. And then when you moved it in tandem with Nana's spell, it she was on the run the moment those beams hit her. I was I was told. Um, and it was amazing. It. Well, like like we say to Arthur, it's not it's not about how much you you do individually, it's how much you do for the team. And what you did was helpful and I think Arthur is is done right by you. You can do what you want with that money. You can you can keep it, oh. you can donate it, you can buy it. Oh, I think, and Arthur's like, first of all, you probably need some armor. <laughs> um, yes. It's, it's, I mean, it's starting to get a bit chilly. I mean, yes. we'll get you back to Ebenspire tomorrow, and then from there... Unless you don't want to come back to Ebenspire, in which case... No, no, no. No, that's, that's and, fine by me. And with the... All that... And, Arthur also pulls out the the uh, vial of healing. That Superior he, healing. Potion. Yeah, yeah, they took. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, and this is also for you. I... Thank you. <clears throat> yes, thank you. Very much appreciate it. And no we problem. very much appreciate you. We're just glad you're here. You helped out. You did your bit. We're all here together. I... You deserve it. You know, it may... money can't buy you happiness, but it definitely helps. Oh, yes. Yes, definitely. No, this is... I, um... You know, I think I'm going to start a fund. Oh, a fund? Yes. Uh, to uh, help the people back home. I think that's a wonderful idea. And this, this will be a good start. It, it's that, an obscene amount of money that, we're, mm. that we've been dealing with. Mm. But with that, the evening comes to an end. You all get ready for bed. And we end for today. With a long oh. rest, right? <laughs> Such a long rest. Oh, but but okay. also, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just because we'll forget otherwise, we nightmare Julia. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me. Are you just gonna keep going so she does don't have any of the uh, legendary resistances left? Oh yeah, you know it. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna roll the die real quick. We 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 ring until she picks up. Yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> we yeah it takes assholes. it takes a couple of hours, but eventually it connects. And um... me me and Natty like, yo yo yo, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> it's your boys. <laughs> Guess who didn't die, bitch? <laughs> oh, we just, we're just asking for it. But I mean, we can't not. Like, it's, not. she, she knew, she thought she had taken someone down and she 
She ain't she ain't getting that, away with that. It's, it's, it's gonna be Nana mm, gone. Yeah. Yo. Oh. Hey, you do yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I'm sending I'm sending Nana as the nightmare. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we we can have a discussion More about tea. that nightmare Just... and we can bring it into next week's okay. recap. I love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. But, but also just is... giving her that extra day of no long rest. Mm. 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 It's mm. gonna feel good. <laughs> <laughs> She'll just wait till it stops. <laughs> Seething, just waiting. <laughs> oh. Seven days later. Oh, well, you're sending Nana, aren't you? That's, that's great. If it goes through, have the perfect you mean, thing. We'll, we'll have a talk. Mm. We'll, right. we'll have a talk, yeah. <laughs> That'll it, be exciting. We got there. Yes. We got there in the end. That is the end of session of 108 of Ammonia. Is that the is that the yeah. end of the arc, or I suppose we're that going to... that will be the end of the arc. Ah, oh. starting next week, we're in the final chapter, the Ballad oh. of the End. Oh my oh gosh, God. That's, yeah. exciting. that's so huge! That's so, exciting. that's so huge! Oh my gosh! So strap <clears throat> in, people. Things are about. I yeah. Oh my gosh. And I will let you know in the game. I'm gonna double check my notes real quick. Just while you're checking, uh, Josie, uh, Anna from the Shire says that was super lovely. What an awesome way to spend the evening. Please thank everyone. Oh, so, thank Anna you. from the Shire. Thank no, you. you. No, you. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> we thank you for being here with us. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out and sharing the story with us. So currently in game, you do have, from this point, five months until right. the estimated arrival of Delirious Forces. Five months. So as we're oh, gonna oh, come oh. into the last chapter, we're gonna we're gonna maybe um, be a lot of downtime. There's gonna be a lot of loose ends to wrap mm. up and mm -hmm. other things mm -hmm. to do before where we launch the final battle. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I still gotta send you the send you the bucket list. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, I, mean, I uh, thought something. We, we can list. we can we can mm. have a we can have a talk about that. But for mm. now, where are we going?